so for tonight, it's uh, 6, 10 p.m. Um, we're going to discuss the fundamentals of Facebook advertising. This is a free webinar hosted by Facebook Ads Mastermind PH. Um, but I think I um actually, last night, I was, I was searching for this particular topic in Google. And guess what? I'm not getting any uh, search results. It's like, uh, when it when we say Facebook advertising, there's no fun in it. Like there's, I can't find any blog post whatsoever about the fun in Facebook advertising. So I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'll be the first to do it. <laughs> um, yeah. So let's get it on. This is the outline. Oh wow, I'm late, pala. Pero ayun, um, For tonight, I'm gonna talk about. Yeah. First off, I'll introduce myself. Like, I know there are so many new uh, members. In the past two weeks, I think there are hundreds of new members. So yeah, I'm going to introduce myself. And then next is why is Facebook advertising fun? And then what are Facebook ads? How do they work? Why should we advertise on Facebook? And then I also discuss different ad formats different ad placements, and then we'll create an ad live. And then I'll also touch on how to be a Facebook ad specialist. I know na marami dyan, ito yung um, gustong malaman. So yeah, we'll discuss that later. So this is me. I was a college dropout from the University of the Philippines, Iliman. Siguro 2012 yata yun, nung tuminto ako. Um, a second year college. Um, bakit nga ba ako minto? Sobrang, ano yun eh, uh, wala akong pampaaral. I mean, I was a scholar, a DUSD scholar, but I was um, studying, I mean, I was commuting every day from Paranaque to QC, to Diliman. Kulang yung, ano, isang daan ko, araw-araw, like, wala akong pagkain, pa pamasahe lang lahat yun, so, eh, wala kami yung pera, ganun, hanggang sa napilitan akong huminto. And then when I stopped, I worked as a call center agent. I was, um, I think I was like 18 years old. No, um, I can't remember, but um, I worked as a call center agent. Mga five years din ako doon. During my fourth year, naging trainer ako ng mga um, back-end, mga nandu sa back-end office. Sa back office. It's, should I say, mga ano to, mga HR, ng mga... Um, US companies, ganun, na, na client ng BPO company. And then while I was working on a call center, I talagang ginapang ko. I finished my study. So I was um, working at night and then studying uh, in the morning. So halos, ano mo yun, walang tulugan. And then nabuntis din ako nun habang ano, um, na kinatapos ko yung pag-aaral ko. So, tinapos ko yon nag-thesis defense ako ng ang laki-laki na ng chan ko. At yon natapos ko naman siya habang uh, buntis din ako. And then I got married. Um, we moved to the province. Nandito na ako ngayon sa Isabela. We started a hardware store. And then, eto na siya. This is the hardware Um, I started as a freelance Facebook specialist in 2018. I got hired in different advertising agencies, yan, Arrow Digital sa Australia, Attribute Digital in Canada, Right Hook Digital sa Australia ulit, tapos sa Optimal Agency sa US. Itong mga to, iba-iba yung niche nila. Like yung Arrow Digital is more on lead generation for dental clinics. Attribute Digital is lead generation for gyms. Right Hook Digital is um, conversion campaigns for e-commerce businesses. And Optimal Agency is more on um, big U.S. brands na iba-ibang um, niche. And then I started taking on direct clients habang nandito ako sa mga agencies na to. So pinagsabay-sabay ko sila. Um, I took on U.S., U.K., AU brands in the kitchenware, beauty, and fashion and apparel niche. And then 
I, uh, late 2020, I became a consultant for advertising agencies in Malaysia, US, and UK. And then November 2020, then I started my own e-commerce store. Ito tong nandito, yung um, Candle Bella. So I, I own a uh, scented candles brand called Candle Bella PH. So that's me. Fast forward to 2021, <laughs> nahiya ko, pero para lang to inspire, again, not to brag. <laughs> so, ito na, nito lang, I purchased my, hindi, na, hindi actually para saan, para to sa asawa ko na um, has been very, very supportive dito sa freelancing journey ko. Binila ko siya ng, ano, ng uh, Nissan Calibre pickup truck. Tapos, bumili din ako ng, um, ano ito? Isuzu uh, forward dump truck. Mini, I mean, semi-forward dump truck. So, ito yung pinakamalalaki kong investment ngayong taon. Kasi, proud, it, proud ako dito kasi I paid for them in cash. Ito ay katas lahat ng freelancing, ng Facebook ads. So, walang ibang um, contributor. Why is Facebook advertising fun? For me, it's fun because number one, you get to help businesses grow. Like This is one of my clients, which is a um, US Kitchenware brand. So, pumasok ako dito like... Um, uh, February 2020, ito yung 2019 nila. Like, Masaya-masaya na sila dito, 2.5 million. And then, pumasok ko sa kanila, so I tried my best na pataasin niya ng hanggang uh, 10 million. So ito ay isa lang, sa mga, isa lang sa stores nila, they have two. And then, second um, reason is that you get to be where your customers are. Kasi, um, alam naman natin, Facebook is the biggest social media platform in the world. Like, um, you will see in this graph, this is a graph of monthly active users worldwide as of fourth quarter 2020. So, you will see na nasa 2.7 million na siya, which is monthly to. Ah. Pero kapag... Um, hindi monthly active users. Nasa 3 billion ang nabasa ko. Um, for the whole Facebook apps family. Like, pag sabi Facebook apps family, nandyan yung um, Instagram, pag-aari din yan ng Facebook, WhatsApp, Facebook din yan, and Messenger. So, yun. So, sa dinami-dami ng tao sa Facebook, I assure you, <laughs> Your customers are on Facebook. If you're um, a business or if you want to do this for your clients or future clients. And then second, which is, I mean third, which is karugtong din ng second, is you get to reach millions of people that you won't otherwise reach another way. Kasi, um, yun nga, dami tao sa Facebook. Tapos, what... Facebook did that revolutionized the advertising industry is they leveled the playing field. Before Facebook, I mean, before Facebook ads, like, ang pinakapatok pa lang na um, advertising is sa TV, di ba? Sa mga billboards, ganyan. Which is, mga nakaka-afford lang nun, yung malalaking businesses. Pero, dahil sa Facebook ads, maliit ka man o malaking business, pwede ka na mag-advertise. And you can reach millions of people sa platform na to. And then fourth, you get to earn money. I mean, yan yung, um, I think yan yung pinaka-exciting sa lahat. Eh. You, you earn. Yeah. So, if you learn Facebook advertising and you offer it as a service to businesses, you, ha you, you have great potential to earn. So, if you can see this uh, screenshot right now, these are monthly commissions from just one client. 
So you will see masyadong mataas nung December, like almost $5,000 kasi yan yung uh, panahon ng malalaking sales, like uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday. So pag maraming maraming, uh, ang, ang arrangement ko kasi with this client is that I have a retainer fee and I also get commissions from um, ad spend. Kaya pag malaki yung sales niya, malaki rin yung commission ko. So yeah, that's, um, di ba, more fun pag gano'n. <laughs> so there, hindi ko alam kung ilan yung binigay ko, like four siguro na reasons. But there are so many, many more reasons why Facebook advertising is fun. Um, siguro another is that you can do it anytime, anywhere. Like you don't have to take calls. Like um, other online jobs, you have to take calls. Meron din mga chat support. Nakailangan nandyan kasarap ng computer mo kung hindi. Um, I don't know, mawala ka ng trabaho ganun. Sa Facebook advertising, pag sinet up mo yung campaign mo, I mean, pag in-strategize mo, sinet up mo yung campaign mo, babalik-balikan mo na lang yan, hindi ka kailangan nakapako sa, ano mo, sa laptop mo. And you have more time freedom. Yun. Ang masaya pa sa Facebook advertising. Okay, so what are Facebook ads? Ito, yung mismong definition ng Facebook sa Facebook ads. Facebook ads are paid messages from businesses that are written in their voice and help reach the pe- people who matter most to them. Yun na nga. It's one of the most effective tools out there to grow your business. You can create loyal customers, generate leads and sales. And ito pa, there are now over 3 million businesses advertising on Facebook. What does this mean bukod sa um, in na in yung Facebook? Meaning, ganitong karaming businesses na advertise sa Facebook, ganito rin karaming Facebook ads specialist yung kailangan nila. That's why it's a very in-demand skill right now. And kailangan mo na siyang matutunan. <laughs> Yun yung point ko. Also, kung um, gusto mong, ano ba yan, nasa na tayo? Kung gusto mong mag uh, tayo ng business, I think you would agree na dapat nasa Facebook ka. Like, kapag magtantayo ka ng business, iba dapat may Facebook page. Parang matik na siya ngayon eh. Parang hindi na nga siya ano eh. Parang siyang um, required na. <laughs> Ganon. So, ganun din katindi yung need for Facebook ads and Facebook ad specialists. So, this is an example of a Facebook ad. This is the anatomy of a Facebook ad. So, you will see here, number one, itong tawag dito ay ad creative. Number two, ito yung, yung take an extra 30% off now. Ang tawag dyan ay headline. Number three, yung surprise deal. Ang tawag dyan ay ad copy. Number four, contact us. We call that call to action. And then number five, itong nasa baba ng headline, that's called newsfeed link description. So I'm just putting this out there para mamaya kapag nag, uh, nag-uusap na tayo tungkol sa ads, hindi kayo nalilip. Anong pinagsasabi nito ad creative? Ano yung ad copy? Ano yung headline? So this is it. Yeah. It's the simplest um, explanation of the anatomy of a Facebook ad. So ito yung newsfeed ko, di ba? Scroll lang tayo. Try natin maghanap ng Facebook ads. Oops. Oh, second pa lang sa newsfeed ko. This is an ad. <laughs> this is an ad about improving your ads. So if you look at your Facebook newsfeed, pag nakikita ka ng ganyan, sponsored, that's an ad. So you think sinabi ko kanina, that's the ad copy. That's uh, the ad creative headline. Um, this is the call, CTA or call to action. And this is the newsfeed link description. So, pangalawa pa lang yan, ha? meron ng ad. So, if you keep on scrolling, may mga may kita ka, oh, ito, another ad. See? So, yan, pinapakitaan ka palagi ng Facebook ng ads. 
somewhere in your newsfeed, depending on your um, interests, depending on the websites you visit. So, yan. Ang nagde-decide kung anong ipapakita niya is yung uh, Facebook algorithm. Mamaya, we'll touch on that. Um, how do Facebook ads work? Una, um, I want you to uh, read this word auction. And when you hear the word auction, what comes to mind? Um, sige nga, let's hear it from you guys. Anong naiisip nyo kapag sinabing auction? Ay, may auction. So, anong, anong, ano dun? Okay, bidding. Yep, bidding, bid. Yeah, I think puro bid. Ayun, pagandahan ng offer. Bago yun. Uh -huh. Meron pa ba? Buy, pataasan, sell. Alright, thank you so much. Red tag, alright. Competition. Ang gagaling naman ito mga to. Sige. So kapag um, nag-publish tayo ng Facebook ads, we enter into an auction. We can look at it in two perspectives. One is that itong lalaking to, pwede siyang uh, tingnan natin as si Facebook. Tapos, uh, I mean, si Facebook algorithm. Tapos, itong mga to, yung mga nagbibid, is yung mga advertisers. So, iba-iba iba, iba sila ng bid, di ba? Yung Facebook algorithm will decide aling um, ad yung ipapakita niya more often or uh, to particular sets of audiences. Pwede na natin itong tingnan, tingnan as like this. This guy... Um, it's a particular set of audience. And then these hands are, again, advertisers. So consumers, um, they will decide. We will decide. Actually, I'm also a consumer. So we will decide kanino tayo bibili from all the um, ads that we see in Facebook. So uh, that's the Facebook ads environment, and that's how it works. So ganito siya. Diba? Nga naman, if you think about it, if Facebook bombards bombard users with ads, it's likely that uh, alis tayo sa Facebook. Like, sinong gusto na laging nabibentahan? Diba? We're on Facebook not to buy, actually. We're on Facebook to to look at our newsfeed, no? Para makibalita sa mga, ano natin, diba? Friends. So, actually, Facebook advertising is not like um, Google. It's not intentional, no? Ano to, eh? Interruptive na advertising. Kaya, ayun, kaya auction siya. So, ang nangyayari sa auction is Facebook limits the number of advertisements that each user sees. Like, kung ano lang yung feeling na kaya ng um, user na yun or matotolerate ng user na yun. So, in other words, there's only so much ad space available and there are many people that want to use it to grow a business. That's why you can't just sign up and purchase an ad placement on Facebook. Instead, advertisers bid against each other to secure an advertising placement. Wag niyo muna intindihin yung mga word na yan, a placement. Yan yan. Mamaya, we will um, tackle that. But uh, yeah, in the simplest terms, whoever bids the highest gets to show their ad. Ganun lang kasimple. It's really just an auction. And you're not just competing for ad space, actually. You're also competing against everyone else who wants to reach a similar target market. So, for example, you're you're advertising for a fashion um, company. So, uh, halimbawa, nag-target ka ng people who likes fashion and accessories, which is actually an interest you can target in Facebook. So, you're not just competing for ad space. You're also competing with many other businesses that are targeting the same set of audience. Okay, so that's how it works in the Facebook ad space. So, ganito siya. We bid for impressions. Impressions, ito yung um, number of times that an ad is shown to people. Yan ang tawag doon, impressions. So, kung sino yung may maximum bid plus mataas yung quality score, siya yung pinakamataas na ad rank. So, nirarank ni Facebook yung mga ads sa platform niya. So, ano yung quality score? Paano nila um, kinukompute yun? It, it's, it's actually um, more complicated 
than it uh, it was before. It's very complicated right now because um, they take into consideration many many factors. Na it's not written anywhere because um, meron silang yun nga sariling algorithm. So kung gusto niyo malaman ko ng algorithm nila, good luck hindi nila sasabihin pero yeah there are many many um, articles about how algorithm works, how to beat the algorithm. But yeah, ultimately it's just you just uh, need to know what Facebook wants and what Facebook wants is for users to stay on the platform. Like the longer the user stays, the better. So um, what you have to do to um, to attain that is put out great content. Tapos couple it with high budget. So mauna ka sa ranking. Tinan lang naman. Okay. So ganun nga no. When you see an when when consumers see an ad, they they click on it and then complete an action. So it could be like um, something that directs the, the ad could be something that directs uh, clickers to a website or the ad could be something that uh, directs clickers to a form now if you fill out nila in exchange for something of value like mga um, uh, five tips for um, women over 60 on how to do makeup mga ganyan. so ganon yung mga uh, kung, kung paano nag-work yung ads <music> So yeah, that's a that's an overview lang, no? A high level overview. So basically, why should we advertise on Facebook? And dami dami nsa nasabi ganon siya ka, ka ka effective. Pero let's dig deeper into that. I think that this is num number one reason, really, is that one organic reach has a limit. Ano yung organic reach? Di ba sabi natin kanina? Um, it's almost like a prerequisite right now that if you'll be um, establishing a business that you have a Facebook page. Diba? You create a Facebook page. Now, dun sa Facebook page, diba, magpo-post ka tungkol sa business mo. And then, yung iba, they, they just expect Now, when they post, their uh, market will see the post. But that's not the case with Facebook. Yun, yun yung tinatawag na organic reach. Yun yung um, when you post something on your page, may marireach na tao. Yun yung organic reach kasi hindi paid. Ang tawag doon, organic. Ngayon, nilimit ng Facebook yun para <laughs> mag-ads tayo. So, ito yung importante. Facebook content creators generate more and more different types of content every day. And to advertisers, both small and big, this means that it is becoming extra challenging to distribute and get their content in front of their target audience if they depend solely on organic reach. And uh, yeah, again, Facebook is intentionally limiting the organic reach para nga mag ads tayo. Kasi dun lang naman kumikita ang Facebook, di ba? Facebook is free and always will be. Paano siya nagiging free? Because of Facebook ads. Dun sila kumikita. So if you look at this graph, from 2013 to um, 2014, actually, this was, this was a long time ago. Ganyan kababa yung, uh, bumaba ng bumaba yung uh, reach, ng organic reach on Facebook pages. So this is an analysis of 100 plus Facebook brand pages around the world with more than 48 million total fans conducted by social at Ogilvy, Ogilvy in February 2014. So ganyan kababa nung 2014, mas bumaba pa to ngayong 2021. Also, if you look at this, this is actually how the Facebook algorithm evolved through uh, time. So tw 2004 was when Facebook was born. Um, I think it was February 2004. And then 2006, I invented the news feed. Hindi ko alam ko anong itsura ng Facebook nung 2004 kasi wala pa akong malay nito sa mundo. I think um, high school pa lang yata ako nun. 
Pero ang naabutan ko yung may newsfeed na. So, 2006 lang na-invent yung newsfeed. 2007 was when the like button was invented. So, ito na, uh, nag-umpisa ng nag-matter sa mga tao yung mga likes. And then, 2009, nagkaroon na ng sorting order sa newsfeed. Ngayon, let's mute that. So, yun, um, mula 2009, yung algorithm, sinisort na niya yung newsfeed natin. Dati kasi, pag tumihin tayo sa newsfeed natin, makikita talaga natin kung ano yung mga ginagawa ng mga friends natin, di ba? Na, na ano nyo ba yun? <laughs> Naranasan nyo ba yun? I, I think I can remember this eh. Kasi um, tuwing magla, maglalagaw ako sa work noon, mag, magbabrowse ako sa Facebook para malaman yung ganap. Tapos merong ano, merong you've reached the end of your newsfeed, ganun. Ibig sabihin na pakita nyo na lahat. Hindi pa kasi ganun ka-crowded yung... Um, Facebook nun. And then 2017, reactions are weighted more than likes. So, yung algorithm kasi, meron siyang um, tinuturing na mas importante kasi sa iba. Halimbawa, mas importante na yung yung heart kesa sa like lang. Ganun. <laughs> Kapag maraming heart, mas uh, mas winner ka. Mas papakita niya sa mas maraming tao yung ano mo, post mo. Ganyan. 2016, pat bumalik. Prioritizing, sorry, dapat nandito ako sa 2015 pala. Introduction of the C-first feature. Alam nyo ba to? Meron to eh, um, C-first. Um, bawa gusto mo mas makita yung content ni ganito, pwede mo siyang uh, pin, uh, iset as C-first. Then 2016, prioritizing content based on the amount of time a user spends with it. So, if you have a post, tapos very engaging siya, yung mga tao, nagtatagal doon sa post mo, mas ipaprioritize ng Facebook yung post na yun. And then, 2018, meaningful na. Mean, um, na nagkaroon na siya ng idea ko ano yung meaningful interactions. Think of Facebook algorithm as a learning machine. No? Isa siyang machine na nagkukulit ng data. 2019, alam niya na kung ano ibig sabihin ng meaningful interactions. Nagkaroon na ng prioritization station of posts that receive comments. So, hindi na lang siya tumitingin na lang sa mga likes, uh, love, mga tawag ba Tumitingin na rin siya sa comments. And then, 2019, introduction of why am I seeing this ad? I mean, this post tool. So, pin, um, pin, sasabihin niya na sa'yo ngayon kung bakit may ganong post sa newsfeed mo. So, ganun na siya ka, talino, noong 2019. And then 2018, I can't see it. <laughs> I mean 2020. Hindi ko makita, tinatakpan siya ng Zoom. Ayun, so ito yung key moments in the history of Facebook algorithm. Um, this is, by the way, an infographic from Hootsuite. Yan yung uh, logo dyan na OWL. So, anong gusto ko, anong, anong point? So, ang point ko lang dito, um, kaya importante mag-ads kasi hindi talaga ipapakita ng Facebook yung post mo sa Facebook page mo. Like, I think it's only 1% na lang ng uh, fans mo. 1% na lang ang papakitaan niya ng post mo. Ganun. Alright, second reason why we should advertise on Facebook. Your audience is on Facebook. So, sinabi na nga natin kanina, di ba? Um, there are billions of people in Facebook, 3.2 billion worldwide in the Facebook family of apps. So it's more than the population of China. I think, what is the world population right now? I don't know. Um, siguro more than 8 billion. So which means na more than 20% of people in the world are on Facebook. So that means your customer is right there on Facebook. Somewhere. Kailangan mo lang silang matarget ng maayos. Ito na naman yung graph kanina. And then number three, why we should advertise on Facebook is that the targeting capabilities are exceptional. Like Facebook has the most advanced targeting options in the advertising world, digital advertising world. So ito lang yung um, ilan sa mga matatarget mo. You can target by age, gender, location, job title, industry, marital status, interests, behavior, location. 
So actually, meron ditong infographic on the targeting, different targeting on Facebook. I think I've, I've, I've shown this in one of our webinars tungkol sa audience research. But for those who were not able to attend that, this is like, this is it. This is an infographic of how um, how comprehensive Facebook targeting is. And this is one epic infographic on that. So, sobrang dami ng uh, information on Facebook tungkol sa users niya. That's why we can target, uh, we can do laser targeting in Facebook. And yes, kahit pa may iOS 14. <laughs> And then next reason is that anyone can advertise on Facebook. Like um, I already touched on this, Kanina. Facebook ad, Facebook has leveled the playing field. Dati, ang mga nakakapag-advertise lang yung sa malalaking companies. Ngayon, kahit mag nagsisimula ka pa lang, kahit, kahit nga, ano eh, ampunan mo lang yung ads mo, wala ka pang stock, di ba? You can actually advertise on Facebook. So whether you're an admin or a seasoned advertiser who is just getting started with Facebook advertiser tools, there's a range of advertising options to help you reach your business goals regardless of your advertising experience. So bukod doon, small or big company ka, pwede ka rin advertise on Facebook. Um, Experiensyado ka man, oh, hindi. Kasi sobrang dali ng Facebook interface. Na hindi mo siya, hindi ka kailangan expert para makapag-publish ng ad. So that's it. And then number five, Facebook ads are cheaper than other forms of advertising, believe it or not. Um, I know Facebook ads costs are, Facebook ad costs ay tumataas sa ngayon. Like CPMs are rising. Alam to ng mga dati nang nag-ads nag dyan sa tabi-tabi. But still, Facebook ads are cheaper than others. And actually, if you go into Facebook advertising with a clear focus and follow a simple strategy, the cost efficiency will astound you. And ito, according to WordStream, the average cost per click for Facebook ads across all industries is $1.72. This is 2020 data, guys. That's super, super cheap. Kasi, Pag tiningnan nyo itong next. So, this is the cost of advertising sa ibang platforms. So, sa newspaper, it's $32 to reach 1,000 people. Magazine, 20. Radio, 8. Cable TV, 7. Google AdWords, 2.75. LinkedIn and Facebook nandito. Pero ito kasing um, data ng Facebook na nandito is for specific industry, which I don't know. <laughs> Grinab ko lang to somewhere and I forgot. So, Ito pa rin naman yung average, $1.72 across all industries. But still, if you um, compare with other, again, platforms, it's super, super cheap. So, yes, this is another infographic from WordStream. This is the average cost per click on different industries. So, anong point ko dito? Sobrang mura ng Facebook, guys. <laughs> Mas mura to kesa sa uh, Google Ads. Well, generally... But uh, yeah, kung magaling ka rin sa Google, kaya mo rin naman to. So, eto na guys, this is the real deal. Ano yung um, kailangan bago ka makapag-publish um, ng ads sa Facebook? So, this is how I generally do setting up um, myself for Facebook ads. So, unang-una, syempre, kailangan mo ng Facebook account. Syempre, meron naman tayong lahat niyan. Um, and then, you'll use your Facebook account to be able to create a business manager account. Pupunta ka lang sa facebook.business.com I think. Tama ba? Hindi, hindi natin, I'm sorry, hindi natin siya gagawing walkthrough dito sa session na ito kasi baka matagalan tayo, abutin tayo ng sham-sham. Uh, Pero ganito siya, high-level overview, no? So again, Facebook account, kailangan mo yan para uh, to be able to create a business manager account. And then when you have a business manager account, you can uh, create an ad account. And then kailangan mong magdagdag ng payment method dun sa ad account. You can either use um, debit card or credit card or I think 
uh, GCash, pero hindi ko, hindi ko sure kung ano ng update ngayon sa GCash. And then marami pang ibang uh, payment methods, but it's mostly debit or credit card. And then you also need to have a Facebook page where you can run the ads. And then, kailangan meron kang admin, syempre, na ano, magmamanage nung um, accounts at ng ads. So, ganito siya. Ganito siya ginagawa. Pero pwede siyang, pwedeng mag-rumble-rumble din yung ano niyan, yung um, order. <music> So this is the structure of Facebook ads. Merong campaign, merong ad set, merong ad. So campaign corresponds to a single advertising objective. Mamaya uh, titingnan natin kung ano yung mga objective na pwedeng uh, gamitin sa Facebook ads. And then ad sets. This is where you do your targeting. Sabi niya dito, but you can set a budget. Yes, this is also where you set your budget. But you also have an option to set your budget on the campaign level. And then there's the ad level. Ito na yung mismong ads. Ito yung pinakita ko sa inyo may pusa kanina. So this is the general structure of, if, of Facebook ads. Again, there's a campaign level which houses the ad sets which house the ads. Ganun siya. So, tandaan nyo lang yan. Campaign, ad set, ad. Magkakasunod sila. So, again, this is campaign where you set your objective and budget. Ad set is where you set your targeting, placement, and you can also set your budget here. Ad is where you put your ad creatives, copy, headline, etc. So, ito yung mga different campaign objectives na pwede natin gamitin sa Facebook. So, actually, it's it's a lot. So, this is how powerful Facebook is. So, number one, pwede mong gamitin objective is local awareness, usually used by local businesses like gyms and restaurants. So, yon. Number two is brand awareness. So, reach people who are more likely to pay attention to your adverts and increase awareness for your brand. Usually, ginagawa ito ng malalaking brands. And then, reach. This is... Um, if you want to reach maximum number of people in Facebook. And then next is traffic. This is um, if you want to send people to your website. Yung traffic po, hindi po siya yung, ano, yung, uh, like yung heavy traffic sa ads. Sa, ano, sa digital advertising, pag sinabi natin traffic, this is the number of people who visit your website. So one of the objectives in Facebook is traffic so which means you can uh if you use this objective you can increase the number of people who visits your website and then number five is engagement so you use this if you want more um engagement like yung comments likes suppose mo ganyan post engagement job page like so meron merong dalawang klase ng engagement yung engagement lang sa post or pwede ka rin gumawa ng campaign to get page likes and then meron ding tatlo pala sila sorry event responses sa engagement so ito yung mga um meron kang event like mga may pa party sa sa Makati meron mga ganito eh nagho sa mga party tapos nag nag, nag uh, pa publish sila ng ganitong event responses na ads sa Facebook to get more attendees paulit po ng 1 2 3 sure so, ito yung one to three, local awareness, like uh, mostly for local businesses, gyms and restaurants, brand awareness, like um, it's what it is to be to get more people uh, more uh, more aware of your brand, and then reach is to reach na maximum number of people in Facebook. And by the way, no um disclaimer lang, itong mga to. Sobrang minsan lang ginagamit to. Ang um, dalawa lang naman yung usually ginagamit na objective sa Facebook. So mamaya, papain ako sa inyo. Then, ito pa, number eight. Meron bang isa pang klase ng engagement offer claims used to promote an offer like 10% off on first order. But we rarely ever use this. App installs. This is for apps. Used to get people to install your app. Um... 
I don't think meron naman ditong mga nagmamanage ng um, companies na merong apps. So, this is very rarely used. And then, another objective is video views. So, if you have a video and you want it be, be viewed by more people, then you can use this uh, campaign objective. And then lead generation. This is uh, one of the two most used objectives. So this is to create, um, this is used to create a form that will collect info from people, including signups for newsletters, price estimates, and follow-up calls. So for example, isa kang uh, gym, you want people to, um, grab your offer so halimbawa ang offer ng gym is um free free for, for i mean five dollars for five days ganyan so you will collect um leads yun yung tawag sa mga taong interested sa offer mo leads so gagawa ka lead generation campaign to collect leads um how to collect leads, merong form sa Facebook, na built-in mismo sa Facebook pag ginamit mo yung lead generation objective, na siya na, siya na yung bahala mag-collect ng information ng, ng leads mo, like yung name and email address and phone number. And then, number 12, conversions. This is um, one of the two. So, dalawa silang um, mostly used itong lead generation and conversions. Ito yung pinaka-importanteng dalawa. All the others, pwede mo nang kalimutan yan. The conversions used when you want to drive people from Facebook to your website to take a specific action, such as purchase, add to cart, view a product, sign up to a webinar, etc. So, um, well, this is really for people who have websites, conversions, and yung ano, objective. Then number 13, product catalog sales. Uh, this is if you want to create adverts that automatically show products from your product product catalog based on your target audience. So this is for companies na napakaraming um, uh, products. So ang ginagawa ng Facebook, you can actually upload your cat catalog. Sa you can actually integrate your website sa Facebook para makagawa ka ng product catalog sales. Ang gagawin ng Facebook, ipapakita niya yung product catalog mo sa mga users. Tapos dynamic yun. Ibig sabihin, yung product na ipapakita niya sa particular user is kung ano lang yung uh, what the algorithm thinks as yung most interesting dun sa user na yun. So di ba, very super brilliant na napagandang uh, uh, capability ng Facebook nun. Yun. And then number 14, store visits. Used to promote multiple businesses, business locations to people who are nearby. Nung kasagsaga ng COVID-19, which is last year, March, uh, February, March, April, sino spend to? Kasi like, nagsara halos lahat ng ano. I think binalik na nila to. Pero um, we rarely ever use this objective naman. So yun. Like, there were 14, di ba? So, ang daming, ang daming mong pwedeng uh, magawa, ma-achieve. Ma so, ano yung mga iba-ibang formats ng ads? So, una, meron ka makikita mga image ads. Mga image lang, tulad nito. This is um, for one of the companies I handled. And then, there are also... Video ads. So, yun may nakita nating sponsored videos. Meron ding carousel ads. So, yung carousel, yun yung mga, yung series of images. So, marami tong images magkakatabi. Yung tawag sa kanila ay carousel. Tapos, canvas ads. Ito ay full screen interactive ad for mobile devices. So, again, it's only for mobile. So, this is... An example of a canvas ad from Coca-Cola. Kapag kapag um, clinic mo siya, magiging full screen siya. So maganda siya kasi very um, engaging sa mobile. Collection ads. Um, mag nagiging full screen din to kapag uh, pinindot mo. This is um, more applicable to companies that have a lot of products then. So, yan, yeah, may kita nyo, um, it's also dynamic eh. So, na, na, magpupulap si Facebook ng mga 
um, products from your collection sa, sa website na ipapakita niya dito. So, ikaw yung magde-decide kung anong collection yung gusto mo ipakita sa collection ads mo. And then, story ads. Diba? Napakaganda nito. When you, you, when you browse your stories, minsan may may kita kang mga ads. So, may kita kang sa stories mo, sponsored. That's an ad. And then, you can swipe up. Madadala, mapupunta ka sa website. So, yun ay ad. And then, dynamic product ads. So, ito rin actually yung um, catalog sales na, na diniscuss natin kanina sa objective. So, ito yung mga pag sobrang daming products. O, papakita mo dynamically yung products mo. Like for this example, this is a company which has over 1,000 products. So, napaka-appropriate sa kanya yung dynamic product product ads kasi hindi mo naman pwedeng gawa ng ad bawat isang um, product pa ganun, di ba? Then, ito na. Yung sinasabi kong placement, placement. Ano, ano ba kasi yung placement na yan? The places where you can run your ads, yun yung tinatawag natin, placements. So, saan ba nakikita yung mga Facebook ads? This. So, number one is feeds. So, kanina, we scrolled through my feed. May nakita tayong mga ads. So, yun yung mga feed ads. Andiyan siya sa Facebook news feed. Andiyan din siya sa Instagram feed. Meron din sa Facebook marketplace. Facebook video feeds. Facebook right column. Instagram explore. And messenger inbox. Alam nyo, alam nyo po ba kung ano yung Facebook right column? <laughs> ano lang to? Sa, sa desktop lang makikita? So actually, let's look at my right column. So, nasa desktop ako ngayon. You see this on the right? These are actually eh, sponsored. These are ads on the Facebook right column placement. So, meron akong ad from Foxwell Digital, tsaka from connect.io. Kasi nag-visit ako ng website nila. So there, next is, ito, inano ko lang, define ko lang each. Stories, yung pinakita ko kanina. So, yun nga, may mga ads din sa stories. Meron ding in-stream video. So, sometimes when you're watching videos in Facebook, bigla na lang may ad. <laughs> yun yung mga nakakainis na ad, di ba? Tapos, merong skip ad, hinihintay mong lumabas yung skip ad. <laughs> so, yung mga ads na nagpapakita sa loob ng videos na yun, um, yun yun in-stream ads. And then, meron din sa instant articles. Ayan, instant articles are presented in a large mobile-only format featuring fast-loading articles with images and video allowing content to be shown without taking users on external website or app. So, meron din sa Facebook, di ba, mga articles. When you click on it, magiging, ano siya, um, ang tawag dito? Full page sa mobile. So, pag, pag binasa mo siya, parang siyang article lang, pero in the end, may kita mo na may siyang pinopromote na product. So, those are actually instant article ads sa instant articles na placement. And then, there's also audience network. So, ito yung uh, controversial lately dahil sa iOS 14.5 update. Sabi nila, i-exclude na lang daw. So, ano nga ba yung audience network na yan? Ito yung um, kapag nag-games ka minsan, di ba maraming ads? Lalo na sa mga free games, um, doon lang sila kumikita sa ads eh. So, yun yung audience network placement. So, really, outside siya ng Facebook. So, yeah, um, let's briefly try to create an ad. And... Ma'am, yung infographics pwede makahingi. Of course, of course. Paano po malalaman ko yung best type of ad na gagamitin? Uh, depende yun, yun nga sa, sa product, sa website, pwede rin, sa products mo, ganyan. We will um, discuss it on a different, ano na lang, webinar. Ano pa? Wala na? Okay. Para may question sa Facebook Live. Oh, yeah, sorry, hindi ko nakikita yan. So, yeah, you can... Ikaw yung na lang, ate. Yung DM ko ba, two months old pa rin dapat before mag-start? 
Hindi yeah, pa. thank you. Thank you for uh, mentioning that. Yeah, hindi pwedeng... What? Too much? Hindi. Yung Facebook um, account, hindi pwedeng bago. Kapag gumawa ka ng bagong Facebook account, you won't be able to create business manager account. So, actually, ang nire-recommend ko is at least three months. Dati nga six months pa eh. Mas luma yung account, mas maganda. But yung business manager, you can actually start right away kapag gawa, pagkatas mong gumawa ng business manager. Yun nga lang, you, uh, Facebook will set a spending limit sa ads mo. So wala namang, ano, there's no way around it. You just have to um, spend more. When you spend more, i-lift na ng, ano yun, ng Facebook yung spend limit mo. Um, kung gusto mo na, ma, kung if you have money and um, napatunay mo sa Facebook na marami ka talagang pera, pwede kang kumontak sa chat support. Like like what I did for a client kasi um, nilimitahan nila yung spend namin. So I just contacted uh, support to request to remove the limit and yun, niremove naman nila. Meron ba ba? I thought one year. Parang meron pa question. Wala na, hindi naman one year. I oh, tried that. Baka ito yung tanong ni Thelma na ano. Yung walkthrough. Ah, okay. Oo, mag-walkthrough mag- na tayo in a, in, a, in a few. Ayun na sabi ni Fines. I tried that. Naban yung newly created Facebook account. Oo, kasi parang ano eh. Ngayon magpapapogi points ka muna sa Facebook bago ka nila. Ano, siguro ano na lang din eh, di ba? Para rin maprotektahan yung consumers nila from... Um, yung mga startup companies, lalo na yung mga nagda-dropship na hindi maayos yung um, face, I mean, advertising practices, ganyan. Tuloy, lahat tayo na damay. <laughs> Ayun. Meron pa ba? Meron pa te sa ano, sa live? Ma'am, pag na-ban account, tapos ang editor mo or admin, pwede ibang account po? Parang magkarugtong ba yung tanong niyo? <laughs> Pero pag na-ban yung account, um, first thing that you should do is to appeal. ba? And then sometimes, uh, ask ka rin niya na mag-confirm ng identity. Then you just have to send an ID. Page role, I mean, ibang account po. Appeal works. Hindi ko maintindihan yung page role, I mean, ibang account. Ma'am, pag na-ban account, tapos... Editor mo or admin, pwede ibang account. Page role. Hindi ko, <laughs> hindi ko mag-gets. But yeah, appeal first. Kapag na-restrict, katulad ng account ko, <laughs> um, tatlong taon na, hindi na binalik ng Facebook. So, I use, I'm using another account. And then, I'm, I'm never ever um, connecting my restricted account to my new account. Kasi matitrace ka pa rin. Okay, wala na ba? So, let's create an ad. So, tulungan nyo ako makapag-create ng ad. Uy, ito nga pala yung sa ano ko. This is how, ano pa, how effective yung Facebook. Like, this particular one, I have this client uh, nung January lang. We started from zero, as in zero. <laughs> And right now, ito na sila. March 2. Hindi, last month lang to. 7.5 million rupees, which is equivalent to 49,000 uh, US dollars. I'm proud of it kasi we started from zero. And this is a really uh, niche product. Yung sobrang mahirap siyang mawari kung ano yung ano niya, market niya. Ano to? What I mean, ang page na ginawa ko is ban na po. Pero gumamit ako ng ibang Facebook account at ginawa ko admin for media buying. Okay, and then what happened? So ganito, kapag may nababan na something, page man yan o ad account or business manager or mismong profile, the very first thing is to appeal. If the very first thing you do is to create another account, It's like you're circumventing the policies of Facebook and they don't like that. So you have to appeal first. Pag wala na talagang choice or kung marami ka namang uh, kamag-anak <laughs> na pwede nilang ipahiram yung BM nila, 
Okay, wait not. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome, Boss B. Pag kapag meron ka pang ibang tanong, you can always uh, PM. I know the struggle. <laughs> Sabi ko ngayon mismo account ko, ano, um restricted. So I I know really the struggle. So this is one of my ad accounts. And like I said, we'll be creating an ad from scratch. So let's do it. So kapag na-create mo na yung BM, yung ad, again, BM, tawag natin yung sa business na manager, and then yung ad accounts sa loob ng ad accounts. Hindi naman sa loob. Pero sa ad accounts, baka kapag advertise, advertise ka using a Facebook page. So ito na, pa, ba, para makapag-create ng ad, we just have to click create right here. And then ipapakita sa iyo ng Facebook yung mga campaign objectives available. So ito siya. Tatlong columns meron sa awareness, consideration, tsaka conversion. This is the general marketing funnel. So awareness, ito yung kapag di ka pakilala ng tao, magpa, uh, kaya nga tawag dyan eh, awareness. And then consideration, pag kilala ka na nila, tapos um, you're just getting their trust. And then conversion, ito na yung hard selling, bibentahan mo na talaga sila. Yun yung kaya siya may tatlong column na ganito. But again, Yung mga mostly used objectives lang naman dito is conversion, lead generation, pwede rin engagement. Yan, catalog siya. Actually, meron ding messages nga pala, but hindi natin to na-touch kanina. Para sa mga, this is super usong-uso sa local uh, e-com messages sa mga walang um, website. So, marami sa local e-com stores ngayon, they're, they're selling only through messenger. So, this is the objective that we can use pag walang website. Tapos, gusto magbenta. So, for today, actually, let's go with messages. Why not? Kasi wala akong website. So, meron akong e-commerce store, di ba? Yung Candle Bella PH. Wala pa akong website. Ang meron lang ako ay Shopee store. Pero, I don't wanna... Um, drive traffic to my Shopee store kasi yung Shopee hindi siya nalalagay ng pixel. Ano yung pixel? Uh, pixel is atong code na nilalagay sa mga websites para para ma-track yung behavior ng users. So, hambawa itong um, website na to. Pag tinignan natin yung pixel niya, may kita mo yung pixel through a Facebook pixel helper na i-install mo via uh, Google Chrome. Sambawa ito, no? Isang Shopify store to. Meron akong Facebook Pixel helper right here. Ito yung pixel niya. Ito yung pixel ID na to. Yan, no? Yung string of numbers na yan. Yan yung uh, may pakana ng pagtatrack ng mga um, um, ano to, activities ng tao sa website mo. Ngayon, dahil sa iOS 14, aggregated na yung measurement ng event measurement ng pixel which is ang ang nire-report niya back to Facebook is the highest event na nangyari at hindi na rin niya ina-identify yun sa particular customer like aggregated na nga, hindi ka tulad dati so halimbawa pumunta ako sa website na to no naglik ako dito nag-view ako ng product pag tinig na natin yung pixel merong event na magfa-fire which is yung view content Tapos, mag-add to cart ako. Ayan, add to cart. Na-add to cart na siya. Ito na, add to cart. Pag tinignan ko yung pixel, magpa-fire din yung event na add to cart. And then, when I look at my cart, para mabili ko na, pindutin ko ngayon yung checkout. Pag tinignan ko yung pixel helper, merong magpa-fire na initiate checkout. So, ganun. Th that's how um, pixel works on the back end. Ngayon, ano yung mare-report sa Facebook? Sa lahat ng pinagagawa ko sa, face sa, sa website na to, ang i-report ng pixel back to Facebook is the highest event, which is the initiate checkout event. Diba? Nag-view ako ng product, nag-add to cart ako, nag-initiate uh, checkout ako. So, kung normal kang tao, ganun mo i- <laughs> Kung normal kang tao. Um, 
ira-rank mo kasi yung uh, pinaka-importante sa yung event eh, sa Facebook. So, syempre, kapag nagbebenta ka ng physical products, ang pinaka-importante sa iyo is yung purchase, di ba? Tapos pabalik, dapat yung ranking. So, importante yung purchase. Next na important is yung initiate checkout, sunod yung add to cart, sunod yung view content. Ngayon, ang highest doon, based on ganong classing priority, is initiate checkout. So, yun yung ire-report ngayon na Facebook. O, may nag-initiate checkout sa, ano mo, sa website mo. Ganun. Um, Iko-collect ng, ng pixel yung data na yun, ire-report niya sa Facebook para makapag-retargeting ako ngayon ng mga nag-initiate checkout. Paano pa tayo napunta doon? <laughs> so, pinag-usapan lang kasi natin yung pixel. So, again, we'll be creating an ad from scratch. And um, this, an example that I'll be giving is my own e-commerce store, which is Candle Bella. I don't have a, a, a website yet. It's under construction. So, ang, ang gusto kong gawin ultimately is makabenta. Ngayon, wala nga akong uh, website. So, ang gagamitin natin for this particular example is messages. Meron na ba ditong nagaganito na may messaging campaign ngayon? Hello, hello. Ayan si Fines daw. Oo, very ano to sa local e ngayon. <clears throat> okay, so eto na siya. Pinindot ko na, ba? Yung create campaign. So una, syempre, you should name your campaign. Um, there's no no particular um, policy, <laughs> policy na, na dapat ganito yung name mo. Bahala ka sa ano. Mahalak sa buhay mo how you would name your campaigns, but you should name them such that isang tingin mo pa lang, alam mo kung saan tungkol yon at kung ano yung objective ng uh, campaign na yun. So, for example, for this particular campaign, I will name it, um, siguro message, ito yung objective ko kasi. Ito lang may pumapasok pa. Message, candle bell, ano, CBPH. Um launch. Let's say I'm launching a new product. So, yan. So, sa loob ng campaign, ito yung makita mo. You know, buying type, auction, mess, campaign, objective, mess. don't mess with that. Na, Naset na natin itong messages. And then, wag, wag mo muna intindihin niya mo yan. So, ang papakita ko lang guys, yung pinaka-importante parts. Like, hindi natin ito papakomplikaduhin. Kasi marami kang may kita dyan na hindi mo naman kailangan. And then, sabi niya dito, campaign budget optimization. So, there are two ways you can set your budget para sa ad mo. It's either um, in the campaign level or in the ad set level. Diba? Inaral natin kanina, merong tatlong level, campaign, ad set, tsaka ad. So, again, yung budget, pwedeng sa campaign, pwedeng sa ad set. For this particular one, Pwede natin i-on tong campaign budget optimization. In short, ang tawag dyan ay CBO, campaign budget optimization. Tapos sabihin natin ang daily budget ko ay um, mura lang, 200. Kasi messaging lang to eh. Mura lang naman yung messaging campaigns. Yun na muna. Huwag na munang um, intindihin niya mga bid strategy. Malilito ka lang dyan. Yung default lang. And then... Punta na ako ngayon. Dito na ako ngayon sa ad set level. So, sa ad set level, I usually name it according to my targeting. Kasi this is where you set your targeting eh. So, for example, ang targeting ko dito ay... So, I candles. Whatever. Mamaya, magta-targeting tayo. And then, placement ko dito is FB lang. Di ba kanina, nilinis natin yung placements. Tapos, minsan, inaano ko rin yung age. Kasi, di ba, um, ang, ang, ang product ko is scented candles. Ano tingin nyo yung mga taong mahilig sa scented candles? Anong edad? <laughs> Bala ka sa buhay. Ano yun? <laughs> Titas. Ayan, sabi niya na. 30. Grabe naman. Talaga ba? <laughs> Kasi may mga buyers ako, mga ano eh, mga students. Nag-ano nag, nga ako, nagtataka ako eh. Parang pabata ng pabata yung mga bumibili. 
20 to 35. Ayan. Napahusay niyo talaga. So, what if I go for the gold? Ano daw? Go for the gold. And then, um, I make it broad. So, I make it 20. Wait. Ba yan? 19. To... I don't think may mga 65 plus ng... Um, 55. 55, 55. Ano ba yan? Hindi, hindi ko ma-scroll up. So, 60 na lang, guys. Ayan na. Ano ba ito yung mouse ko? Hindi ko ma-control. 60 na lang. Tapos may kita nyo dito sa gilid, guys. Merong audience definition potential reach. So, um, this is potentially the number of people na uh, mapapakitaan ng ads mo. Magandang titingnan yan eh kapag magka-targeting na tayo. So, yun, nakita nyo, di ba? Doon ko ginalaw ko yung age dito. Tapos, meron dyan location. Naka-default to sa Philippines kasi sa akin tong um, ad account na to. Pero kung yung ad account ginawa ng isang nasa Israel, nasa US, madi-default siya dun sa whatever is the country na kung saan nakatira yung may-ari ng ad account. So, you have to check that also. And then, gender. What do you think is the gender ng mga taong bumibili ng scented candles? Female. Oh. Girl. <laughs> Girl tayo. Oh, actually, like, 90% ng customers ko is um, women. So, I think I'm gonna go for women kasi baka magsaya, masayang lang yung pera ko dun sa ano, pag nag ako. And then, dito na yung targeting. So, yung product ko is natural scented soy candles. May pumapasok pa rin. Grabe. Punta tayo sa Instagram, dun sa, ano ko, sa IG account ko. Para aralin lang natin saglit yung product ko. Ayoko kasi na sobrang hula-hula yung gawin natin targeting. Mali pala, ano ba yan? Ito siya. Iyari sa mouse ko. So, ito siya guys. Hand poured siya. Soy candles from Isabella. 100% soy wax. Natural, organic, non-toxic, vegan. So, ito siya. So, isa tong product na hindi siya yung, ano, di ba? Yung kailangan mo sa buhay. Parang kay, pwede to pang, ano, pang relax. Pang kaartehan, ganun. <laughs> So, what do you think should be the interests that I uh, target, that I should target dito sa detail targeting? Meron ba kayong masasuggest? Okay, wala. So, yung product ko, soy candles, no? So, why not? Let's look for soy candles. Pack. Soy candle, meron. Tapos, kung... Um, Initially, tinatamad kang mag-ano, <laughs> mag-research ng napakaraming bagay. Pwede ka namang mag dito, mag-suggestions. So, yeah, this is actually for aromatherapy. Sama ko yan. Candle, mga mahilig sa candle, essential oil. Actually, yes, kasi scented candle to eh. In a way, pwede siyang um, substitute sa essential oils. Kasi pang relax, relax din siya. Ayan, so let's say, yan muna for this particular ad set. So I like to group my ad sets based on um, different sets of interests. So for example, for this particular ad set, yung mga interests na yan. For, for another ad set, um, mga ano naman, mga tungkol sa relaxation. And then for a different ad set naman, mga, mga competitors. Like, not really competitors, but yung mga um, sikat na brands ng, can ng scented candles. So, 
Itong particular campaign na ito, nasa 5 million reach na. na uh, 5 million na yung potential reach na. I think that's good for testing. So, I'll stop right there muna. And then, sa placement, dahil napakaliit ng budget ko, like 200 pesos lang, hindi ako mag-automatic placement. Yung automatic placement kasi is baha, um, hayaan mo na si Facebook na ipakita niya kahit saan yung, kahit saan, <laughs> kung saan niya gustong ipakita yung ads mo, kung saan niya feel na, hindi feel, um, where the algorithm thinks it will get um, messages for you. So for me, dahil maliit nga yung budget ko, i-exclude, hindi ko nasasama yung audience network. Tsaka, yan, yun lang i-exclude ko. Hindi ko na rin sasama tong search. In article. Ayan. Ito lang naman kasi yung importante sa akin, yung feeds, yung inbox kasi messaging campaign to. Tapos, stories. So, yun na. Yun na yung kailangan natin sa ad set level. So, again, um, eto, pipiliin mo yung tamang Facebook page. Siyempre, no? napakarami kong minamanage na pages. Pinili ko yung page ko kung saan ko gustong mag-advertise at yung Instagram page. Schedule, minsan, um, ginagamit to. Halimbawa, meron kang sale, tapos gusto mong uh, gumawa ng ad for that particular sale, halimbawa Mother's Day flash sale. So, i-schedule mo siya dun sa day mismo ng sale mo. Tapos, um, may end din siya. Pwede mag-set ng end date. Bawa, isang araw lang na flash sale. So, i-set mo yung end date yan. So, for us, hindi man natin kailangan mag-schedule yan. Gusto ko lang talagang, ano, makukuha ng benta from messaging campaign. Wala naman akong special na, ano. And then, ito, location is Philippines, age, sinet natin siya ng 20 to 16, women only, kasi women yung mostly customers na, na bumibili sa akin. And then, ito mga interest na to, and then placement. So, yun yung ginawa natin sa ad set level. Again, babalikan ko yung name niya. So, um, dito usually ginilalagay ko yung mga interest eh. So, isa lang muna ilalagay ko kasi natamad ako. Hindi, <laughs> kasi madami. And then, soy, candle, FB, and IG. Ito yung placement ko. And then, yung ano muna, yung age 20 to 60. F, which stands for female. And then, yung placement ko is FB and IG. So, ganyan ko siya pinapangalanan para isang tingin ko pa lang sa kanya. Alam ko na kung ano yung targeting na nasa loob ng ad set na yun. May nagtanong. May fragrance po ba yan? Yes. <laughs> Meron. Ano po katagal ng testing hours? Testing hours ba ng candle ko o ng, ng, ng ads? <laughs> Usually three days. Kutin ni test. Okay. Ads nga. Okay. So, yun. Uh, minimum three days sa akin. Pero, well, it depends on your budget. Kung napataas ng budget mo kahit isang araw lang pwede yan. 20 to 60, sorry, it's um, the age range. Kung kanino ko lang gustong ipakita yung ano ko po, yung ads ko. Dito yan. Okay na. So, let's proceed sa ad level. So, ito yung um, fun part. Ilang detail po na interest. There's no particular rule kung ilang interest ang pwede. Um, nung panahon, <laughs> nung unang panahon, I think it's 2018, sinasabi nila isa-isang interest lang daw para ano. Well, I don't, I don't do Facebook ads by the book. Like, pwede ka mag-test ng kahit anong gusto mong style. For this particular ads, at gusto mong pagsamasamain itong mga to. Dahil, well, related sila sa isa't isa. Tsaka, feeling ko ideal tong potential reach na to sa Philippines kapag natitest ka lang, kapal lang. How about walang targeting? Pwede po ba? Yes po, pwedeng pwede. Pwedeng pwede yan, lalong-lalo na sa mga local businesses. Like for example, um, gyms. So kapag pag, pag gym ka, na um, your, your, your goal is to get people to the door, syempre, ang target mo lang is yung malapit sa gym mo. No? Hindi pwedeng katulad nitong Philippines, yeah? buong bansa. Lalo na, yun nga, 
um, hindi online yung ano mo, yung, <laughs> yung gym sessions. So yun, kapag ganong mga local businesses na ganon, hindi na, pwede hindi ka na mag-target. Like, location lang. Pwede ka mag-target dito ng Metro Manila. Or pwede Cavite City. Ganon. You know, so Metro Manila, Philippines. May Indonesia pa. So yan, mga, pwede ka mag-target ng particular cities lang. Bawa restaurant, ganon din. May, oh, teka lang, ang daming tanong. Ah, local service, radius na area, opo. How about walang targeting? Bobo method daw. <laughs> well, um, marami rin ng mga accounts na nag-work din talaga yung walang targeting na. Maikli na po ba yung one-day testing? If a market research ako ng three ads. So, I think it's maikli, lalo kung um, maliit yung budget. Pwede rin po kaya ito sa mga coordinator. Like, yes, kanina, um, diniscuss po natin yung pwedeng, pwedeng um, objective ng campaign is event responses. Bobo method, alam ko yan. <laughs> yes. Well, actually, um, 2020, super working yung Bobo method kasi super, super smart ng Facebook AI. May AI, meaning artificial intelligence, ng 2020, pero dahil sa iOS 14.5, medyo, um, yun, na bumabalik muna ako ngayon sa laser targeting. Ma'am, below 5M audience, good na po ba? Yes, meron ngang ano lang, 1M lang. So, ano talaga eh. Kaya nga tayo nagtetest eh, para malaman uh, what will work for our account. Like, I have some accounts na 10M, yung reach, okay lang. Merong 1M lang, okay lang. So, depende talaga yan sa testing natin. Meron pa? Laser targeting is what we're doing right now. Yes, pareho tayo, appear. So, ito na. And this is where the fun begins sa ad level. Para sa akin na, it's where the fun is. <laughs> Kasi this is where you get creative. So, dito sa ad level, meron na akong choice ngayon to create a single image or video or a carousel. I will go for single image kasi nga basic lang to. So we'll go for the most basic. So add media. Ano po ang focus ng ad level? The focus ng, ng ad level is the ad itself. The ad creative, the ad copy, headline. Yun, yun ang focus niya. Pati yung call to action. So mag add ako ng image. mag kata ko ngayon sa... Um, Tawag dyan, sa computer ko, ng image. Uy, meron pala dun. Pero, ito, ito, may mga image. Um, ano kaya? Ito. This is one of the scents that I launched in March. Which is vanilla coffee. Saan ko nakuha to? Paano kong ginawa tong image na to? Simple lang po yan. Um, kumuha ko ng, ng, alam mo yung feather, ano tawag na sa, <laughs> yung, yung pinapatungan niya na parang feather-feather. Bumili ako niyan sa Shopee. Tapos, kumuha ako ng cartolina na ang kulay ay yellow. Pinicturan ko siya sa magandang lighting. Tapos, inedit ko siya sa Adobe Lightroom. Gumamit ako ng isang preset na bagay dito sa brand ko. Yung brand ko kasi is cold yung lid ng ano ko, ng uh, scented candles ko. So, yung preset na na ginamit ko is something more on that um uh ayan, shade, like yellowish na a uh, goldish, ganyan. Engaging ako. Okay. Yan. So, may image na ako. Ito yung tinatawag na ad creative. And then, sa primary text, dito yung ad copy. Actually, tinatama daw mag-isip na yun. Pero, you have to be engaging dyan. Lalo yung first three lines ng ano mo, ng copy. 
dapat maganda para <clears throat> more chances na i-click nila yung ano mo. Kukuha lang ako dito ng ano. Ng copy. Mga ads ko to nung nag-launch ako. Ayan, new sent alert. So, actually, pwede mong i-ano to eh. I-view yung preview nitong ad na to. This is an old ad that I made. So, pag-clinic pag mo yun, ito, isa, isa lang to sa mga paraan para ma-view yung uh, ad mo sa Facebook or IG. Click mo yung may araw na yon Click mo tong Facebook post with comments. Papakita niya sa'yo kung ano itsura niya sa Facebook. So, this was that ad. New sent alert. Admit. Baka lang madami pa rin pong apasok. This is Women's Day. Eh, well, hindi naman na Women's Day, so tatanggalin ko yung Women's Day special. Pabalikan ko lang yung ad. Okay, ipipaste ko dito yung ad copy dito sa primary text. So actually, no, yung copying ito, more for my existing fans na. Kasi tingnan mo, um, meet Regta, Ilocano ng Sigasig, Best English Translation to Zeal, Blend of Vanilla and Coffee, challenging most challenging blend i have tried to date so i'm i'm talking more to uh, people who already know me what if we have something na for uh, cold audiences cold audiences tawag natin sa mga taong hindi pa tayo kilala so mayroong iba-ibang temperature cold warm and hot so cold audiences are people who don't know you yet Warm audiences are people who already know you or may have engaged with your ads or your page. And then hot audiences yung nag-visit na sa website mo or yung nag-purchase na sa'yo. So for this particular one, let's say um, we're doing an, we're creating an ad for cold audiences. So um, siguro ang copy is more benefit na lang, no? Siguro more for P, dahil ang 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 uh, unique selling point nitong scent na to is that it, it has coffee scent. So maybe yun yung ibibida ko dito. No? So something like um ano tawag dyan? Nag-limit <laughs> may umii. <laughs> Iba talaga mga may hashtags, hindi. <laughs> What type of copy po madalas nyo ginagamit? Um, sa ngayon, what I noticed is that story talaga. Tama ka, story. <laughs> Mga story-based copy. Like, long copy. Mas ang work na sa akin ngayon. Sa mga talang 2021, like, hindi, nga, hindi na masyadong nagbabasin ng copy yung mga tao. Ngayon, mas ano na. Like, magkikwento ka ng buhay mo, ganun. Effective na siya ngayon, in my experience. Ha? For this particular one, benefit lang muna ano natin. Anong tawag doon? Um, actually, meron na akong post yun dito. Ayan, this one. I think this is a good one. More uh, benefit-focused copy. Well, you can have so much better copy than this. Example lang naman to. So, ayan. Um, were you one of those people who went crazy over XO can candies in the early 2000s? Um, so I'm targeting mga ano dito, millennials. Um, if so, you would definitely love Regta. It's a great companion when you're so Regta. It's a blend 
of vanilla and coffee scent. Um, pwede pong pamute. Sino kaya yun? May, may umiiyak na bata. Hindi ko makamute. Ayan. Thank you. This is one of my best sellers. So, ayan. Uh, sinasabi ko dito na magandang companion to kapag ngayon, nagsusunog ka ng kilay. Hindi mo kailangan magkape. Sa scent pa lang niya kasi masyado siyang may kape. So, sa headline ko, siguro ilalagay ko. Anong magandang headline? Ha, ha, ha. Anong magandang headline? Wala may isip? Siguro, ano. Um... For now, again, you can do so much better than this. <laughs> Hindi lang prepared. <laughs> Vanilla coffee, scented candle. <laughs> this is a bad headline. Huwag niyong gitularan, pero yan. And then, send message. And then, actually, gagawa ko ng parang uh, FAQs. So, ano mangyayari kapag nag-click sila ng send message, di ba? Ganito magiging itsura niya. Magkakaroon ng um, parang default FAQ yung Facebook. Y yan yung default niya. Oh. Can I learn more about your business? Can you tell me more about your ad? Is there anyone available to chat? Um, babaguhin ko yan. So, dito, gagawin ko, Hi! Tapos gusto ko personalize. So, i-click ko lang tong insert personalization tapos first name of uh, recipient. So, ang mangyayari dyan, kung, si, kung ano man first name nung nag-click ng ad, sasabihin niya, hi, Nancy, hi, Sarah, kung ano man yung first name niya, whatever, yun yung lalabas dyan. Tapos gusto ko, I like to say, kumusta ka? Ba't ang bagal? Do you want? So I like to do it in Taglish kapag ano kapag Pinoy um, brand. Pero depende pa rin yan sa target market mo. Pag in target mo ay mga sobrang yayaman na tao, so pwede ka naman mag ano, straight English. Kumusta ka? Do you want to know more about our products or Diretso na ba tayo sa price? Ganun. So, inaano ko siya. Yung diretso ko na siya. I mean, <laughs> uh, but, gusto mo ba magpaligoy-ligoy pa tayo? O gusto mo, ano na, alam na yung price. Ganun. Medyo nagahang yung ano ko. <laughs> Ayan. So, dito sa question number one, Can you can you give me more details? Well, you can do again. You can do so much better than this. <laughs> Dahil impromptu to ganyan yung nangyayare. Tapos and then dito la lagay mo yung um, gusto mong lumabas na response kapag pinindot nila yung particular option na yan. Yung give me, can you give me more details? Siguro magbibigil ako ng details tungkol sa sa sa, sa company. <laughs> we are Candle Bella P, uh, PH We sell organic soy candles that are 100% natural and non-toxic. Designed in Isabella. Actually, hand poured in Isabella. Designed in Isabella. Ganun yung gusto kong sabihin. Pero walang lumalabas sa mga tinatype ko. <laughs> Nagahang siya, guys. So, number two, I will say something like, um, what are the benefits of your scented candle? And then number three, that's what, 
what or how much does it actually number two how much does this cost and then number three maybe do you have an ongoing promo then on number three for now yan muna kasi talaga po siya hindi niya hindi kinakaya ng ano ko oh. uy nawala <laughs> wait yun sinave ko na siya so you can preview this in messenger tingnan natin siya kung itsura niya kahit napakapangit O ba, pakita niya sa'yo ngayon anong itsura. So, ganito. Pag may nag-click sa ad mo, ganyan yung may kita nila. Hi, Nancy. Kumusta ka? Do you want to know more about our products or diretsyo ba tayo sa price? Tapos, papakita niya yung tatlong questions na sinet mo. Pag clinic ko yan, o mag mag magpapakita yung answer na nilagay ko doon. Tapos, I have an option to click this, talk to you, man. Okay, just type your message and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Yan, mga auto, ano yan, na, mga auto response ng Facebook mismo. Hindi na muna natin babagoyin yung mga yun kasi, um, again, basic pa lang tayo. So, yun, guys. Ganun siya pag preview niyo siya sa Messenger. So, meron na tayong add creative, add copy, add headline, um, call to action or yung CTA. Pwede na natin itong i-publish. So, ipapublish ko siya, pero i-off ko kasi pag pinublish ko to, nag naka-on, uh, sisingilin ako ng Facebook, eh hindi ko naman talaga kailangan to. So, this is for, just for the purpose of um, this discussion or for example lang. So, publish ko na yan. Wait, hindi natin na pangalanan. I'm so sorry. Pap um, napublish ko na, pero pag napublish nyo naman siya, pwede, pwede pa rin kayong mag-change um, nang kung ano man diyan. So ito, change ko lang yung name niya. Um sabihin ko dito Regta. Regta. Actually ganoon lang, Regta. Tapos sometimes I put the Hala, nawala yung copy. <laughs> Pero nakita niyo naman, 'di ba? Na nilagay ko kanina, Regta. Tapos sometimes I put the first line of my ad copy. So ano ba yung first line ko kanina? Ito, XO Candies. So, a keyword lang. Something about the copy na malalaman ko pag nakita ko itong name na to ah, yung copy nito tungkol sa XO Candies. Ganon. Tapos, ipapublish ko na yan. Pag pinublish ko na yan, magiging in review siya. Actually, let's try. Let's try to publish it. I think hindi siya mapapublish. Okay, na-publish. So, magiging mahita nyo itong interview. Ayan, naka-off siya. So, i-review nyo ng Facebook. If it's your very first ad, sometimes it takes more than 24 hours para ma-ano ma yan, ma-approve. Kapag naman sobrang dami nyo ng ads na na-publish, minsan, um, saglit lang. Mga... Minsan minutes lang nga, 30 minutes. Minsan mabot yun, 2 hours, ganun. O kaya kapag sobrang daming nagpapublish ng ads, like for example, yung mga may mga sale period, 5-5 ganyan, minsan matagal yung ano, yung uh, review time. So ganyan maging itsura niya. Kapag tapos na yan ang review, makikita mo dyan, active. Ganun, dito sa campaign level. Ganun lang po siya. Tapos kapag gusto mo pang mag-target ng ibang tao, i-duplicate mo lang yung ad set mo. Ayun o, pinundot ko yung duplicate dito. Pwede mo rin pinundot yung duplicate dyan. Duplicate mo lang yan, tapos gawa ka na naman ng bagong targeting. ba? So, halimbawa, mag-target naman ako ng mga tao na, ano, na nagahanap ng relaxation. Something they can use for relaxation. So, very, very quick lang. Mag-target tayo ng ibang tao. Relax. Relaxation technique. <laughs> Something about relaxation. Wellness. Ayan, pwede yan. Ayan. 2.7 million. Pwede na yan, actually. I 
mental broad health and wellness so oh, daming mas, masyadong broad no so actually kung gusto nating maka um, sigurado na ipapakita ng Facebook yung ad natin hindi lang sa mga taong mahilig dito kundi talaga sa mga taong mahilig sa candles pwede kang pwede mong i-click yon eh yung clinic ko kanina narrow audience tapos ilalagay ko dito soy candle so ang mangyayari Facebook will show this ad to people who are interested in both etong mga nasa taas and this one. So, yung intersection ng interest na to at ito. So, people are interested in health and wellness and soy candle. Interested in relaxation technique and soy candle. Interested in wellness and soy candle. Ganun siya ang mangyayari. So, yun. Tapos, pwede ko na naman i-publish yan. Meron na akong dalawang ad sets na magkaiba yung targeting. Pero, pareho yung ad. And then, pwede rin kayong mag-ad ng um, ad per ad set. Yun. But again, basic lang to. So, yun na muna yung ano natin. So, ganun lang gumawa ng ad. Diba? Dali-dali lang. Kahit di ka expert, kahit nga bata, kayang-kayang gumawa ng ad. Paano nga ba maging Facebook ad specialist? Yun yung next topic natin. Nag-list lang ako dito. Like 10 steps on how to be a Facebook ad specialist. Na kung tutusin, madali lang talaga. Unang-una, choose your market. Ano ibig ko sabihin dito? Um, sabi ko nga kanina, almost all businesses can advertise on Facebook. Kung gusto mo maging specialist, you can't cater to all of them. You have to choose one particular market. So for me, for example, ang pinili ko ay e-commerce. Um, more specifically, um, I'm trying to focus on fashion. Ganyan. Um, for others, pwedeng ang um, market nila ay yun, gyms or restaurants, pwede rin yan. Or pwede namang e-com pero fertilizers, mga ganyan. Pwedeng e-com pero kitchenware, ganyan. So that's the very first thing you need to choose if you want to be a Facebook ad specialist. Your market. Number two, optimize your profile. Ano ibig sabihin nito? So, Di ba meron tayong social media um, to profile ko. Pag nakita nyo yung profile ko, malalaman nyo agad eh what I do. Na I do Facebook ads. Di ba? So, if you want to be a Facebook ad specialist, gawin, gawin mo yung profile mo such that alam agad ng tao na nag-Facebook ads ka. So, pinili ko to bilang um, tawag dyan cover photo, yung Facebook ads na yan. This is not the best, really. This can improve. And then, dito, sinabi ko, yan, I help e-commerce businesses increase their revenue by building profitable Facebook ads campaigns. And then, sinabi ko dito yung mga naging trabaho ko. And then, kapag tinignan nyo palalo yung ano, profile ko, may kita nyo mga post ko tungkol sa Facebook ads. Ganun siya. So, I optimize my profile such that puro Facebook ad. <laughs> then, nag nag na rin ako. Uh, occasionally, like, nagpo-post din ng tungkol sa um, personal life. Pero, ayun, kinukonek ko pa rin sa business side of things. Kasi, that's how you become a specialist. You talk about your specialty. <laughs> Ganon. And then, next step is list your top 100 ideal clients. Um, along the way, malalaman mo kung bakit importante ito eh. Kasi this will give you focus and this will give you um, like direction, goals, ma magiging klaro sa inyo ano bang goals ko. So, ambawa ako, fashion. Nag-list ako ng 100 ideal clients for me. So, ambawa, um, gusto ko bench, gusto ko gap, mga ganyan. <laughs> mga um, pwedeng pangarap ganyan na maituturing kasi sa napakalalaking branch ng brands ng mga to pwede ring um pwede mo siyang tingnan as your uh, goals in life <laughs> pero um, mostly actually international yung inaano ko indicator ko ngayon kasi mas doon ako sanay kasi nga nagtrabaho sa mga international agencies so yun maglist ka ng top 100 mo and then next join facebook groups where your target market is so, kung gusto, kung ang, ang, kung gusto maging Facebook ad specialist, they join groups about Facebook ads. So, mabawa, yung group na ginawa ko is um, 
for Facebook ads. Pero sa group natin, merong mga Facebook ad specialist na uh, wannabes. Meron ding mga um, tawag dyan? Businesses. So, if you are a spe- Facebook ad specialist wannabe, I suggest punta ka dun sa mga um, business owners ng groups. So, for example, ang, ang, ang market ko is e-commerce, di ba? So, Siguro magta-try ako mag-join ng groups tungkol sa Shopify. Kasi yung mga e-com uh, business owners, most of them may Shopify store, 'di ba? So ang bawa ito e-commerce group. Ay nandito na ako. So nag-join ako diyan. Oh, ayan. So ang bawa tong group na to, 30,000 members. So that's Uh, approximately the number of people na merong uh, Shopify. Pero, hindi naman yan lahat eh. Kasi, like, ne- meron din dyang mga katulad ko na Facebook ad specialist na gusto makipag-engage sa mga business owners. And then, next, cheerlead. Ano ibig sabihin cheerlead? Alam nyo yung mga cheerleader, di ba? Mga nag-cheer. <laughs> so, so, pag naka-join ka na sa mga Facebook groups, comment, comment ka. Bawa yan, no? Hi all, I joined this platform. I launched my store a month and a half ago. I get traffic every day for checkouts. Anyone willing to help with helpful insights? Bawa ganyan. Comment ka lang. How can I help? Mga ganyan. O kaya mag-comment ka ng, ano, ng advice mo. Like, what do you know? How do you know what to advise? Search mo lang din. Search mo sa Google. Search mo what to do. After launching a store, mga ganyan. What to do after launching an e-commerce store. Bibiyang ka na ni Google ng mga sagot. After launching an e-com- e-commerce store. Ngayon, huwag mong gayahin yung sagot ni Google. ba? Diba? I-ano mo. Say it on, in, in your own words. Or, you can, pwede mong gayahin pero, i-credit mo kung saan galing yung sinabi mo. Yan o, daming sagot to. Oh, di ba? Is it... Blah, blah, blah. Asan na tayo? Next. Post valuable or entertaining content regularly. So, ito na yun. Post-post ka din sa, sa profile mo. Asan na? Yung ano ko. Profile ko. Ayan. So, pag sabing regularly, hindi naman... It doesn't mean every day can be... Basta, um, dapat may pattern. Like, for example, for me, actually, nawala yung pattern ko lately, pero three times a week, ideally, yung ginagawa ko. So, for example, dati, nagpo-post-post ako. Post-post ako. Bawa ganyan, no, mga memes, entertaining content. <laughs> Ito, client brief versus client budget. Yan, mga memes. Ayan, nung nag-guess ako kay Odera. Ah, wait lang. Maghanap tayo ng valuable content. Ito. So, what's working for me? Ayan, nag-list lang ako ng uh, apat ba to o lima nilist ko? Ayan, apat. Ngayon, siguro tanongin mo, what if newbie ako, wala akong alam na ano, i-post? Paano magpo-post ng valuable content? Again, there's Google. So, ako noon, nung newbie ako, nagsimula lang ako sa Google din. So, ang uno, naalala ko una kong sinerch noon is frequently asked questions about Facebook ads. Asked questions about Facebook ads. And madami kang makukuha. See? Meron agad, oh. Diyan talaga ako nagsimula. Like, I tried my best to answer them. Why should I use Facebook ads? Diba? How can I generate sales? Yan. Tapos, bawa, uh, mag-decide ka ako ano dyan ang unahin mo, diba? Bawa ito. Yan ang gusto kong unahin. Search ko lang uli yan. Diba? Kailangan lang search-search sa Google. Aral-aral din. Tapos, 
say it in, in your own words. Tapos may ikli lang na content kasi kapag mahaba, tatama rin yung mga tao magbasa. Actually, medyo mahaba nga ito eh. Oh. Pero kasi, I, I'm confident naman na meron naman akong ano, readers. Kasi I'm part of a community doing Facebook ads. So, yun. That's how you post valuable content. The number seven, connect with your target market. So, humbawa, di ba nag, nag, ano tayo? Nag-comment, comment tayo dun sa group. Ay, shit, mali. Comment, comment ka sa group ng mga Shopify owners. From there, pwede ka mag-add. Actually, kapag merong nag-reply sa comment mo or nagtanong sa'yo, i-add mo sila. Like, literally, i-add mo sila as a friend. Again, kapag nagkaroon na kayo ng konti interaction, pwede rin naman na hindi, pero mas recommended na meron na kayo interaction bago mo pa siya i-add. So, bawa, yan, for example, I'll just add him. Oh, yan, di ba? So, ikaw, Anong gagawin mo kapag may nag-add sa'yo na hindi mo kilala? What do you do? Di ba you check the profile? Ilan na tayo? Anyway, yan. You check his or her own profile. So, dun po nga pasok yung number two kanina, optimize your profile. Kasi kapag chinect ng target market mo, yung profile mo, may kita niya na isa ka Facebook ad specialist. So, dun pa lang, mga curious na siya eh, di ba? Like, that's how you put the right offer in front of the right market. <laughs> so, yan, dun ako nakakuha ng mga, ano, actually, mga messages. Kapag ina-add ko sila, tapos magtatanong sila, Hi, Sarah, can you help me with my campaigns? Ganon. Dun na yung next. Talk to them, uncover their problems, build rapport. So, again, so, if you'll notice, hindi yung ipipitch mo agad, pitch ka agad ng service mo na, um, ay, I do Facebook ads, baka gusto mong gawan kita ng ads, mga ganun, baka gusto mong manage ko ads mo. Hindi, you, you um, build relationship with them, no? Hindi yung bebentahan mo sila agad. Yung tunay, you build genuine relationship. You uncover their problems. Uh, tanungin mo, anong, kumusta? May problema ba? Anong problema mo ngayon? Kumusta sales mo? Yan. Kum How are you getting along with the iOS 14.5 update? Mga ganyan. Build rapport. Tapos usually talagang nagbubuho sila ng ano. <laughs> Alam mo yung, um, if you're talking to a stranger, parang mas ano ka, mas com comfortable ka na magsabi ng mga ano mo, problema mo. Kasi alam mo, no strings attached, alam mo hindi naman kayo magkikita, mga ganyan. Minsan ganon, may ganong feels pag nagko-connect ka with your target market. And then, you, you give value. So, how, paano, paano mo sasagutin? Problema niya ganyan. Again, kung hindi ka pa maalam, lagi ka lang mag, ano, mag search sa Google. So, yun, search ka lang ng search kapag may nagsabi, may nagsabi siya ng problema. O kaya, magtanong ka sa mga taong marunong. Uy, may problema daw ganito yung friend ko. Um, ano ba dapat gawin? Yeah. Tapos, sabihan mo sila ng suggestions mo. They will appreciate it. And then, kapag hinug na, pitch, finally. <laughs> Actually, when you give so much value upfront, you won't even have to pitch. Like, magiging top of mind ka nila eh. Like, maaring for now, they won't need you. Medyo siguro sabi nila wala pa silang budget. Pero kapag nangailangan na sila, nagkaroon na sila ng budget, dahil nag-build ka ng relationship with them, you'll be top of mind. Tapos um, tatanoyin ka nila. Gusto ko magbigay ng example actually. Tatanoyin ka nila kung pwede ka bang mag-manage ng ads. Sa link, LinkedIn actually ginagamit ko. Mostly din for um, getting clients. Anyway, wag na lang pala. Hindi ko na lang pakita. Sorry. <laughs> and then, number 10, learn by doing. Interact with people who are already there. Be active in the group. So, kung mapapansin nyo, dito sa number 1 to 10, wala ko sinabi dito na mag-enroll ka sa course. Pag-aralan mo yung skill. Hindi eh. Um, I'm more on learning by doing. So, kapag um, may, may naging interested, or actually, while you're connecting with your target market, that's where, where you know, your, uh, where, that's when you will know their problems, their 
deepest, darkest secrets and problems. Doon mo malalaman kung ano yung dapat mong isolve. And habang ginagawa mo yun, pwede mong aralin na siya. And then, if they get you as a Facebook Ads Manager, hindi mo naman kailangang magsinungaling na, ay, magaling ako, oo, kunin mo, ganyan. Hindi, you can just tell them na, I'm just starting out, pero I will do my best to give you results. Ganyan. Be very an- honest. You can actually offer your service for free in exchange for a testimonial from them. Or in exchange for a case study. So, yun. Sabihin mo, um... I'll offer this for free, but uh, yun, kailangan ko ng video testimonial, ganyan, uh, so you can help me get started with my freelancing business. You know, they will appreciate that, yung honesty. So yun, um, gusto, gusto ko yung discuss ito kasi mar- alam ko maraming groups or freelancing groups na ang sinasabi, eh, um, sabi mo may three years ka na experience, mga ganyan, gumawa ng portfolio. No, you don't need that to be, to start as a Facebook ad specialist, hindi mo kailangan ng portfolio, credentials, or um, experience even. Kasi, you can start by coming from a place of help. Yung, yung, yung talagang uh, desire to help, doon tayo um, nakakapag-start ng tama. That's the right way to start as a Facebook ad specialist. Yun. <music> questions? Bago ako mag-announcement. Uh, Thank you for staying nga pala. Nakadalawang oras na tayo. Kalain nyo yun. Like 8.09, di ba 6.10 tayo nag, ano, nag-simula. Walang questions? Grabe to ha. Or mag-isa na lang ba ako dito? Dalawa lang yan eh, pag walang questions. Mag-isa na lang ako. <laughs> Oh, wala kang maisip. May question dyan kapag ano na, gumagawa na sila ng ads manager. Ah, okay. Business, ayan, magkakalituhan na dyan. Seriously, walang tanong? OMG. Dito pa naman ako ah, nagka, ano. Pa. Hi! Hi, good evening. Okay na lang. <laughs> well, thank you po for the free, uh, free webinar. Ang uh, question, uh-huh. kasi you mentioned po kanina na, tal- uh, napansin ko rin na talaga namang it's or siguro talagang sim- mukhang madali lang yung Facebook ads. Um, in terms of getting the clients, kasi parang it's hard to prove na, parang it's hard to convince them na to hire you if you don't have, parang proof. Parang, di ba, mm-hmm. syempre, if from the perspective of, the, of a business person, you need to be assured na, alam mo yung, alam mo ng taong ito yung ginagawa mo. Mm-hmm. Parang what's the easiest way, or parang what's the most recommended thing to do ba? Like, Kasi, uh, apart from joint, yung sa mga na-mention nito na you join sa mga groups and then just help them, ganun, ganun. Like, what if sa mga, sa mga online hiring sites talaga, like let's say online jobs at each, uh, is it possible to get hired from there without experience or ma- mas malaking chance na baka hindi kasi wala ka pang experience? Wow, that's a great question. Sobra. <laughs> Napangaling ng question na yan. Um, okay. Yeah, actually hindi ko nabanggit, hindi ko wala na lista dito yung mga ano no, mga online uh, job sites like online jobs at PH or Upwork. Actually, in my experience, yeah, it's harder to get clients on those platforms kasi um they they they're expecting na ang mag apply ay yung mga ano na, experienceado na. Yeah, this is um how we teach um starting with being a Facebook ad specialist. Not really on those platforms. Actually, ako never na ako, hindi na ako nag-upwork, hindi na ako nag-online jobs at PH. So, totoo lang. Mas, uh, mas nakakuha ako ng clients sa Facebook groups and um, LinkedIn. And the easiest way really is to start is to offer your service for free and give results. If you are not able to give results, dahil free siya, walang, ano, di ba? Walang sisihan. Ganun. So, yeah, ang ganda nung question mo. So, yeah. Well, when we're talking about groups, international groups din po, no? like, yung mga... Like yeah, say, actually, uh, ako mostly international yung sinasalian ko. Yeah. Uh, thank you po, ma'am. Maraming salamat. You're most welcome. So, may yun... Sa, ano, may question sa Facebook. 
Ano daw? Hindi ko nakikita yun. Ah, teka. Uh, sa ad set, if nag-duplicate ka, pwede mo bang i-offer yung original? Anong original? Targeting? Um, not sure. <laughs> Hindi ko maintindihan. Sa duplicate ka, pwede mo bang i-off yung original? Ah, i-off. Kala ko e-off. offer. I-off, sorry. O, oh, ano naman? <laughs> pwede mo ring i-off. Eh, kung nag-duplicate ka, tapos pareho lang pala yung targeting mo, or or baka nag, hindi, hindi nag-perform ng maayos yung una, di off mo na lang siya, di ba? Yung maganda rin sa Facebook ads, eh, you have full control. Wala so, yung kanap- duplicate ba nun is running alone? Running alone? Ano yung sabihin nun? Yung dinuplicate niya na ad set. Is running alone? Oo. Like this one, yeah, I can always turn this off. Hindi ko pala nabago yung name nitong ad set na to. And then it can run alone. And then, pwede rin naman akong magdagdag pa ng ad sets. Diba? So, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't have to be alone. <laughs> but it can be alone. <laughs> May question pa dito si Darlene. Ano po yung dahilan bakit nare-reject yung ad? Um, dahilan kasi it doesn't follow Facebook ads policies. Yun, yun ano naman talaga yun eh. So, ang daming dahilan pero it all boils down to um, violating Facebook ads policies. Ngayon, um, pag nare-reject yung ad, it doesn't necessarily mean na tama siya na nag, nag-violate ka. Alam mo yun, minsan kasi bots lang yun eh. May mga bots kasi si Facebook naman. So, you have to appeal. Pag in-appeal mo yan, at rejected pa rin, burahin mo na. <laughs> Baguhin mo na yung ad mo. Burahin mo yung na-reject, tapos gumawa ka ng bagong ad. Hindi kasi Question. maganda pag may rejected ads. Ano yun? Question pa ni Michelle, pwede bang gawa ng CA, yung mga audience na nag-message? Stay yep. away filter who among your ad audience click your link in Shopee. Link in ano daw? Link, link in Shopee? Oo. Uh-uh. Link in Shopee. Kapag uh, drive mo yung traffic to Shopee, Mm-mm. hindi mo sila mare-target. Kasi walang pixel yung Shopee. You can only put a pixel in a website that you own and Shopee is, you know, it's an e-com platform that no one owns but the owner of Shopee. Ano daw? <laughs> so, you can put, you, we cannot put a pixel in Shopee, but there's a way to um, advertise your Shopee store and that is by doing CPAS, yung collaborative product ads, which is medyo advanced na siya. Um, and also, ginagawa to ng mga nakakapasa sa la, um, Shopee mall kasi may, you apply for it. Kapag na, na-aprobahan ka, um, i-integrate, dapat meron kang um, dyan, dedicated ad account for your Shopee store. And then, i-integrate ng Shopee yung catalog mo sa Shopee and yung Facebook. Yun, makakapag-run ka na ng um, CPAS, collaborative product ads. You can still um, drive traffic to Shopee. Pwede mong gamitin dito sa objectives ay traffic, campaign objective dito, traffic. Tapos, yung link na ilalagay mo dito, kasi you, you will be asked for a link here in the ad level, pwede mong ilagay yung link ng Shopee store mo. Pwede yun. Pero okay. pagdating sa retargeting, ang, ang custom audience na magagawa mo is people who clicked your call to action button. But anyway, the original question was how to, yung magagawan mo ba ng custom audience yung mga nag-message? Yes. So, punta ka lang dito. Wait. Ito, nakita nyo? Nagpinundot ko. Create new, custom audience, Facebook page. Next. Candle Bella. And then, dito. People who sent a message to your page. Pwede rin to. People who clicked any call to action. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina. Yun. That's how you create the um, custom audience. Next oh, question. I have a question. Okay, so we go ahead po. 
ano uh, regarding din sa pag nagre-review ng ads si Facebook nire-review din ba niya yung call to action na pupuntahan ng ng traffic yung website mismo website oo ini-scrape niya yon uh, so, so may time din na pwedeng ma-ban dahil doon yep nangyari na sa akin po na ban na <laughs> thank you you're welcome May question so, yata si John Rafael. Hi! Ano po yun? Actually, oh. I can stop sharing na, no? O, oh, naka-stuck lang. Okay, Siguro. next question. <laughs> ah, kanina yan. Ilang client po sinasabay-sabay sabay mo ngayon, coach? Daming sabay naman, no? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Oh, ilan daw client mo ngayon? Kunti na lang. Tatlo na lang. Tatlong malalaki, I'm sure. <laughs> ano, kasi um, nag-focus na ako sa groups. Ano yun, minsan nakakapagod na rin. Tatlong na- taon ko na itong ginagawa. <laughs> um, ayun, lalo na yung ano, namang dami ng pagbabago. Dati, dali-dali lang ng Facebook at sa pahirap na siya ng pahirap. Yung metrics, okay. Um, medyo advanced na kasi yan eh. So, actually, ito na siya. No? <laughs> Mer- meron kaming course, actually, about um, launching Facebook ads, full funnel Facebook ads. Kasi meron talagang strategy behind the Facebook ads. So, kung gusto nyo talagang matuto, pwede, pwede rin kayong mag-enroll dun sa course. It's super um, affordable. Nasa 2499 or 25 lang siya. Ituturo na namin doon lahat ng kailangan para makapag um, launch ka ng ads na may magandang offer, magandang targeting, magandang creative, magandang copy. Um, ano pa? Tuturo din namin doon um, more in-depth yung um, pagkuha ng clients tapos um, may copywriting workshop, mayroong creative workshop, ano ka mag-research ng mga uh, creative na pwedeng maging effective sa campaign mo. Yun. Um, tuturo na rin namin doon yung um, policies that you should know by heart. Ilang days? Seven days lang po yun. Um, we structured it that way para ma-implement nyo agad. Hindi ka doon mga course na takes one month. Ganun. Also, Um, live workshop ito with assignments every day so that we can make sure that you implement every day kasi like we can always take a lot of courses right meron ngang mga nagaan eh nag uh, hoard ng courses <laughs> only to not study them talaga binibili lang tapos unang araw may kinig para wala na maraming ganun eh <laughs> yung nasa shiny object syndrome lang ayun namin ang ganun ang gusto naming ma-attract sa course na to ay yung mga naga-action talaga action takers talaga so the structure of the course is that it's a seven day live workshop live siya pero recorded so you can get back to it anytime um ang ang ano lang is that when you go to the live sessions syempre makakapag-ask ka ng ano ng questions live. Anong oras po mag-start? Um, around 4 p.m. So, it starts on May 25th up to 31st or uh, possible din na mabot ng June 1st kasi magbabonus kami ng days para masubaybayan pa yung ano, pag-launch natin ng ads. Live, lifetime access? Yes po, lifetime. Ilang hours po ang workshop? Actually, hindi ko alam. <laughs> Depende siguro yan sa ano, engagement din. No? Pero sobrang, sinimple, sobrang beginner friendly yung ginawa namin workshop. Pero ano pa rin? Yung ano yan, hitik pa rin naman sa strategies. Uh, what we want is that every time you want to launch a campaign, pwede mo siyang balik-balikan. Like, merong checklist ka. Ganon. Ano bang kailangan ko? Anong dapat kong um, aralin? Mga ganon. Para solid din yung strategy. Mahirap kasi yung launch lang tayo ng launch. Eh, alam naman, alam nyo naman, pera yan eh, katapa ng Facebook ads. We're, we're spending money. ba diba? 
So, kailangan maayos yung strategy para sulit din yung uh, investment natin sa ads. Kasi ads really are investment, right? Dapat nag invest ka sa marketing ng products mo eh. Tapos, um, yun, yun kapag may business ka, pwede rin nga sa, uh, i-alok mo sa clients. So, syempre, kapag may clients ka, you have to give them results. Di ba? So, itong strategies na ituturo namin sa course is yun yung kinamit namin for several of our clients. So, uh, proven, effective siya na strategy. And it applies to all um, stores. Like, um, we've launched a lot of um, stores already, products. We've actually spent around $50 million in ads. And around well, more than 50 brands in our years of doing Facebook ads. So, yun, we know this stuff. So, you can uh, trust na mabibigyan namin kayo ng magandang strategy. But again, optional lang yun, guys. Itong group natin, it's free and always will be. It's just if you want to accelerate your um, growth as a Facebook ad specialist or even your growth as a business, you can enroll in the course. Kasi hindi lang siya course, magbibigay din kami ng support. Like, tatlo kami. Tatlo kami. Ganun ka, tinding support yung gusto namin ibigay. Tatlo kaming mga um, strategies doon na we've handled a lot of brands already. So, you can um, be sure na you have top-notch support. My certificate... Madam, last question. Yeah, sure. Ano, about doon sa kapag ka naban yung ano, hindi ba nababan yung mismong business account nung ano o yung mismong ad lang ano yung page lang mismo na nababan nababan lahat like nababan yung page pati yung ano yung, pati yung account. Facebook manager hmm nababan yung ad account nababan yung business manager nababan yung domain nababan pati yung profile like yung profile ko banned siya <laughs> tapos anong way nun para mabalik yung uh... Ap- appeal lang talaga and then, it's possible po talaga na hindi na siya makuha. Like, again, yung profile ko. <laughs> Tatanag, kasi nyo ba tanongin kung anong nangyari? <laughs> hindi ko na nakuha yung, hindi <laughs> na nabalik yung profile ko. <laughs> if you want to share. <laughs> sure. Para maiwasan nyo, di ba? Kasi nga nagsimula ako, anong taon pa. Tapos, usong-uso pa nun yung dropshipping. So, Unang biggest client ko is dropshipping. Like we spend like around $10,000 per day on this beauty product na um, marami siyang benefits like weight loss, um, anti-aging, anti basta lahat ng ayaw mo sa skin mo at sa katawan mo ginagawa na itong in-advertise ko yung product na yun. Tapos um, marami kaming before and after photos sa website which is bawal. Pero nilusot ko talaga ito para, para sa client ko. <laughs> Tapos, nag-scale kami yung napakabilis. Like, dinoble-doble namin yung, ano, yung budget namin. Every day, dinodoble ng client ko. Kasi na, nasilaw sa pera. Eh, dropshipping ito. Alam nyo naman, pag dropshipping, di ba, walang stock. Nag, nag-a-ads, tapos nag, nakakabenta sa ads, kahit wala namang on hand. <laughs> so, dumami na dumami yung reklamo hanggang sa unang naban sa amin Facebook page. Gumawa kami ng bago. Naban ulit. Tapos gumawa kami na, naban, ang sunod na naban yung ad account. Gumawa kami ng bago, naban na naman. Gumawa na kami ng bagong ano, business manager na. Naban ulit. Tapos nag na tong si client ng mga business, ma, ng mga Facebook profiles para gawan ko ng business manager. Tapos nag VPN na rin ako para hindi matrace yung IP address ko. Change na rin niya yung credit cards. Wala na talaga. Kasi, ano eh, sobrang, kasalanan din namin eh. <laughs> hindi kasi maganda yung business practices ng client kong yun. So, ngayon, hindi na ako nagtetake ng mga dropshipping clients. Kasi, ang naging consequence dun sa akin, hindi ko na nagagamit yung profile ko. So, tanongin nyo ba kaninong profile ang ginagamit ko? <laughs> Picture mo naman yung nandun ah. <laughs> hindi. O, oh, yung uh, Facebook account ko gamit ko dito sa sa group. Pero sa ads, ang ginagamit ko yung account ng nanay ko. <laughs> so, yung nanay ko, naging ano siya, naging Facebook partner siya. <laughs> so, kapag tumatawag sa akin yung Facebook, 
Nancy yung tao sa akin. Yung kasi yung pangalan yung nanay ko. Hi, Nancy. Yes. <laughs> Ganun naman ako, syempre. Kunyari ako si Nancy. Pero yun, wag niya kong gayahin. So, ang sikreto lang, always follow Facebook ads policies. You may think na you can go around it, but no. <laughs> you may be able to for some time, pero matitrace at matitrace na kayo. <laughs> Kaya pala may nakikita din ako ng ano, nagpo-post na bumibili ng mga ad accounts. Oo, totoong-totoo 'yon. Bumibili sila hindi lang ng ad accounts but mismong profile, Facebook profile. Mm. Tapos may requirement, dapat ganito nakatagal, di ba? Ganun. Appeal, appeal na lang. Oh, nag-appeal ako, guys. Like lately, akala ko after years, pwede ko na makuha, but no. <laughs> Hindi ko na talaga nakuha yung account ko. Actually, bago ko ginamit yung sa asawa ko, I mean, yung sa nanay ko, ginamit ko pa yung sa asawa ko. Pati yung sa asawa ko, na-restricted na. So, hindi na ako tumatagal. Wala na kayong Facebook. Wala. Wala. Hindi na ako pag ads So, dun sa business ko, ang ginagamit ko rin yung sa nanay ko. Grabe naman. May pumapahasok pa rin. Tapos na tayo, guys. Pa bang mag-question? Meron ako nakita dito na six time. Pwede pa. Hanggang, oh my God, mag-8.30 na. Ano meron daw sa... Com- how, uh, dito sa Facebook group, how do you compare local ads management after the updates na iOS? iOS? Uy, uh, gandong question. Super, I like it. So, for local clients, to be honest, hindi ko siya masyadong ramdam yung iOS. Hindi ko lang alam sa iba. Pero meron na akong local ngayon na hinahandle na nasa 400,000 per month yung spend niya. Okay naman. Okay na okay nga eh. Nasa ano pa naman yung ano niya. Nasa 6x ganun yung ROAS niya. Sa international, meanwhile, <laughs> sa international, dapang-dapa na yung ads namin. So we scaled back from 10,000 per day. Ngayon 2,000 na lang siya. And we purchased third-party tracking tools kasi hindi na reliable yung ads manager namin. Pag tinignan yung benta sa ads manager, tapos sa Shopify, sobrang layo na niya. Hindi nakapanipaniwala. So, bumili kami ng third-party tools for tracking. Ano daw to? 80% plus Android user ang Pinas kaya hindi ramdam. Good thing, mas madami na ding Android users. Yeah, so sana magkaroon ng campaign na, <laughs> sa maganan, na boycott Apple. Sa Hindi. Um, may, may Apple ako actually. Tapos trinay ko siya. Hindi ko nakuha yung prompt. And ganun din, tinanong ko yung client ko, do you have an, an Apple? Do you have an iPhone? Did you update? Yeah. Sabi niya ganyan. But I didn't see the prompt. So I think, may, may, nasa beta, beta phase pa rin yung, ano, yung rollout. Although, dun sa client ko na local, um, May 12 yata, nung na, ano, na, na-post lahat ng ads ko. <laughs> so, na-post siya lahat, guys. Dahil hindi ko, uh, hindi pa verified yung uh, domain. May dahilan naman nung ba't di ko na-verify agad. Yun, dahil nare-restrict siya. <laughs> Pag bine-verify ko yung domain, nagiging restricted yung page. Kasi, beauty product din siya. Kaya, Dinisconnect ko siya sa Shopify, yung ads manager, para makapag-ads ako. Pero, yun nga, na-post lahat. Buti na lang, uh, tinawag ko sa chat support. So, dahil Facebook partner, marketing partner yung nanay ko, <laughs> nagawa naman ng paraan. Supplement ba, ano? Madalas din nagbaban? Oo. Oh, supplement actually yung ano ko, client ko. And, nakatatlong, ano na ako, ad account <laughs> Buting itong, eto, na-verify na siya so medyo safe na kami doon kasi ma- mataas na yung spend niya. Mag- mag-aana na. 500k. Ano to? Meron pang mga tanong. Sorry ah. Ibig sabihin po ba noon kailangan na din namin mag-aral ng third-party tracking app na pwede ma-recommend sa client? Um, kung local naman, I don't think it's necessary. Tsaka, it always depends on Um, tracking sa ads manager mo. Kung talagang, alam mo yun, saliwang-saliwa na, oh, you can lean on third party. Pwede rin naman Google Analytics eh. So, you can do UTM parameters. Na ituturo din namin yan sa course. Pero dito hindi. <laughs> Kasi abutin tayo ng ano. 
Ano pong usual rate for local e-commerce and need ba na register ka sa BRS professional freelancer? Usual rate. Ito laging it depends on how big the 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 business of your client is. Kung how how do you position yourself in their revenue line? So, halimbawa kung um bawa ad spend nila ay nasa 1M per month, some freelancers even um charge up to 1,000 100,000 per month. Pero kung maliliit lang na business, pwede namang um, 10,000, 25,000. Depende talaga sa laki ng business. So, alam nga namang um, ang ad spend pa lang nila ay 25,000 per month. Tapos singilin mo rin ang 25,000. Di ba? Hindi, hindi makatarungan. So you always have to know your client. Like what, what are the needs? Anong level na sila? Kailangan po ba register as professional freelance? Yes. Um, kasi kapag freelancer ka, di ba, ibig sabihin hindi ka employed. So, kailangan mo rin to eh, yung BIR. Kasi kapag ma mag apply ka ng loan, so gusto mong kumuha ng car loan, ganyan, wala kang mapakita ang ITR. So, kailangan register ka sa BIR. Tsaka, syempre, um, kailangan din mag-tax din tayo, mag tayo ng tax bilang uh, law-abiding citizens. <laughs> Aside from supplements, ano most common banned products? Yung nga, beauty products and supplements. Lalo na yung mga weight loss. Yan. Dun, dun ako naban sa weight loss. <laughs> okay, wala na ba? So yun, uh, kung gusto nyo mag-join sa 7-day challenge, yung link nandun lang palagi sa announcement tab. Um, pwede tayong mag-nerd out pa doon kasi talaga ako, self-proclaimed Facebook ads nerd ako. I can talk about Facebook ads all day long. <laughs> Ganon. Doon, doon natin gawin yon Pag dito, ano, um, ano lang muna, hinahinay lang. Basic-basic lang muna tayo. Okay, wala na po bang questions? Wala na tayo sa, ano, sa, sa group? I mean, yeah, sa Facebook page, Facebook group. Ayun, si Rap po. Oh. Parang wala na. Thank you, thank you. You're most welcome. Wala na. Let's go. 2499. Actually, ang gambukas na lang siya. Pero, um, sige, para sa mga nag-join dito, gawin natin siya hanggang 25 na. <laughs> hindi naman ako, hindi naman ako after talaga dun sa, ano eh, dun sa registration. Alam mo yun? Um, I'm really, I'm, I'm at this point of my career na nandun na lang ako sa ano. Like, I want to I want the Philippines to have world class uh, Facebook media buyers. Then and the name ano vision ko. Like sawang sawa na ako guys na magpalipin sa mga kliyente. So and na ako sa point na mas gusto ko nang tumulong sa mga ano Facebook aspiring Facebook media buyers. I know maraming course, 'di ba? Dami-daming course diyan pero I don't know. I think merong something don na I'm looking for like um walang nagtuturo ng tamang mindset. Ganon. Wala, di ba? Ano na lang, ang ba paano mag-ads? Ganyan. I don't want that. Gusto ko, bago, before, bago nyo tahakin tong landas na to, is, uh, na, meron kayong tamang, ano, mindset, and then, you you take pride in what you do. Kaya, isa dun sa mga modules is, um, who are Facebook media buyers, and how to think like one. Kasi sa totoo lang, Facebook media buying is one of the most stressful jobs in the world. Actually, there's a particular article about it. Media buying as the number one most stressful job in the world. Um, but, hindi naman kailangan maging stressful yun eh, di ba? Kung meron tayong community, nakatulat nito, and kung merong mga tumutulong sa mga kapwa natin uh, media buyers. Kasi sa totoo lang, world class yung uh, Pinoy eh, pagdating sa Facebook media buying, in fairness. Kasi sa, sa dami na, hindi naman sobrang dami, like, napunta na ako sa limang agencies. And most of the media buyers are Filipinos. So, ibig sabihin, itong mga um, nagmamanage ng ads ng mga malalaking brands, Nation, nationwide and then worldwide are actually Filipinos. So, ayun, it's about time na um, gawin natin, ayun, ayun, we take pride in this um, particular skill na it's actually lucrative if you do it uh, right and if you help businesses grow. Kasi their growth is your growth. Diba? That's how uh, 
phase one's management works. That's how it worked for me. Yun. Um, by helping businesses grow, dun din ako naka-earn ng first seven digits ko. So, yun eh, how you position yourself as someone who can help them grow. Yan, hindi lang yung, ano mo yun, hindi ka lang employee, kundi part ng kanilang growth. Naputol po connection ko, ano po yung 7-day challenge? It's a course that we're launching, uh, it's, it starts on May 25th. Uh, it's a live workshop na magiging recorded then. It's all about launching your full funnel Facebook ads in seven days. So we have a complete checklist of what you need. Uh, meron din kaming uh, strategies na ituturo doon. At kung paano rin makakuha ng clients, tama ni, paano yung tamang mindset, and marami ding freebies. Like, meron kami mga templates doon na papamigay. Okay, wala na ba tingin, ano, sa group, sa page? Wala na. Grabe, merong kaka-join lang. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Matatapos na tayo. So, yon Thank you so much, guys, for... Um, being here at at ako sa ganda ng um, engagement tsaka sa mga nagstay and, until the end bago tayo mag-end gusto ko lang ano magpicture pwede ka ba magpicture te ikaw na lang picture lang po na kanina sige picture ulit tayo ikaw Yung na talaga oo ano, may... merong ano oo nga baka gusto niya mag-open wala ba silang ano ito. camera <laughs> Oh, oh, Kung pwede God. lang naman, mag-open na po kayo dyan. Ang, ano, pang screenshot lang. Mm-mm. Hi! Ayan, sabi, magbilang ka din, Te. Wag, para hey, makapag-smile din kami. Eh. Ang <laughs> mamaya, magmukha kaming ewan dyan sa picture mo. <laughs> Oh, sino pang mag-on? <laughs> Sige, hindi, hindi man natin sila okay, pipilitin. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay na. Oo. Alright, okay. great. Parang nag-lock na yung ano ka. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, thank, thank you, you so much. Bye-bye. Salamat. <laughs>